Hey everyone and welcome to the stream. Hope you're all doing very well on this fine Saturday evening or morning wherever you are in the world. Afternoon. <laughs> so we've got 93 people tuned in. That's awesome. Thank you very much for everyone that's stopped by so far. So we've got loads of people already in the chat. And the FS20 guy, thank you very much for the super chat. I really do appreciate that. It's absolutely amazing. So hopefully everyone can hear me okay. Um, settings should be pretty much the same as last week so yeah hope it's all, all well so last week we uh, finished off mowing this grass field so the first thing we're going to do is jump in our lovely John Deere ATAR that we bought for a steel and we need to go and get a rake uh, to rake this grass up so blue buzzard hey sim hello Thomas hello gaming is my hobby hello uh, Boris, hello to you. Nathan, hi, how are you doing? So, how's everyone had a uh, a great week? Well, I'm going to get lost again. Anyone that watched last last week's stream will know how, how often I got got lost uh, trying to find the store. Eric, hello. Craig, saying hi. Swiss 06, hello. Till Alasia, that's loads of people, the walls. So we're up 129 viewers now. I say bear with me again, it'll take me a little bit to get back to the uh, reading, chat and driving at the same time. <laughs> James, hi. Oh, I've gone the wrong way again. I'm telling you, I'll get used to this map one day. Apologies if I don't mention your name, it's just that. I haven't spotted it. <laughs> it's not me ignoring you. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm. I'm doing okay. Blue Buzzard. I had a busy week for trying to get loads of content done for Farm Sim. Um, and tomorrow will be the first day since the release that I'm going to have actually have off from a, a day off from playing the game. So I've got a few videos I need to uh, get recorded, um, edited. I'm going the wrong way. I'm sure they won't mind. I'm just going to spend some money. So yeah, a bit of a different weekend. No snow this weekend for us. It's still pretty cold though. Um, so we need a rake. Let's have a look what's on sale. Uh, nothing useful. That's a shame. Uh, rakes, windrowers. I don't want anything too big. That's quite a big jump in price between those two what's that one 9.7 8.4 that's right there's quite a big price jump in between those as well so i think save a little bit of money we'll just go with this one the samaz where am i from i'm from the united kingdom <laughs> yeah i always go the wrong way it's uh just trying to look to my right to keep an eye on the chat and then drive at the same time on the the main monitor. Max says hello from France. Hello. Right, so we've leased that. I'm thinking about getting a second, a smaller tractor for doing some light duty work, so we're not racking up the errors on the John Deere. Any recommendations on a small tractor? Let me know in the chat. Probably not as small as the Zeta. I was saying 25 horsepower. I think that might be a little too uh, too small. Connor says good enough. Homesick all week. Uh, shame to you. <laughs> Jamie, hi Sim. Keep up the good work. How's Tamworth? Oh, I don't know. I'm not in Tamworth. I'm in Worcestershire. Not too far from Tamworth, but <laughs> not quite Tamworth for me. A bit further up the A38. Hi from Scotland, from Craig. Hello. A Valtra, a Valtra G series, yes, that is a nice tractor. Uh, Valtra G series, 84,000. Fent 311 from D10. Uh, that's a little bit more expensive. I bet the little Massey. Yeah, the little Masseys. Uh, can we change? Well, we can have three points on that as well. 
Hi Dasa from the Midlands, hello. Hello from the Finland, 20 centimetres of snow outside. <laughs> yeah, we had a slight dusting last week and uh, it's a pretty <laughs> quite a lot for the uh, for the UK. <laughs> the Bure, I don't know how you pronounce that one. What's that? Uh, 100 hot, oh, that's quite, quite powerful actually. I didn't realise it was uh, quite so powerful. So we could go for that one, nice and cheap, 39. I'll get wet in the rain though. Oh, Jamie ends in Evesham. Yeah, not too far from me. I'm like North Worcestershire. Greetings from Holland, from Gert. Farm boy life. Hi from America. Good evening or good afternoon. <laughs> so any more? Um, we've got one for the Valtra, one for the Massey, one for the Fent, one for the Viewer. Hi. Hello from France. John Turner from Shropshire. Hello. Good evening. And Seb from Norway. Royka from Minnesota. Max. Oh, am I from Scotland? No. I'm from I'm from the Midlands. Hi from Croatia where it rains for Christmas. Yeah, it pretty much rains here nowadays for Christmas. I can't remember the last time it actually snowed on Christmas. So any more suggestions for the tractor? Oh, I'm just going to pick one. So, next next suggestion is the one we'll go with, Massey. Okay, there we go, Massey it is. Speedman, it was negative 13 degrees Celsius. This not, oh, that's yeah, pretty cool. Uh, the Massey won it. Um, I'm going to get the front loader because that's going to be handy, and I'm going to go with a three point. Uh, we'll go with the quickie front load attachment. We'll keep it 105 because I don't think we need anything more than that for now. So let's get a front weight. Let's get the small 600 Adco. That'll be fine. Hey Jan, thank you for the subscription. Oh, the Isaac is no good. Give me all these uh, suggestions now. I've, I've decided. <laughs> what are you doing tonight on this live? Well, the first job we're going to be doing is rowing up the grass. Then we're going to bale it and wrap it so I can clear the area where we're going to build in the farmyard. Um, I also got the two fields we bought last time that need prepping for next crops. When are you going to do some forestry work? Um, I've planted a few trees. Oh, spoiler alert for the next episode on the, the French map. <laughs> yeah, I've planted a few trees on the uh, the French map. No idea how long they'll take to grow. Um, so I'll be doing some forestry work over the winter when they're ready. Oh, why did I go this way? Um, yeah, but I've looked around the maps. The trouble is with the base game maps is the areas that usually contain a lot of woodland are usually stupid expensive and there's no way I'm going to be able to afford one and I, I think the US map's not very suitable for forestry anyway because the trees are those horrible ones that don't cut up very well um, but yeah um, so I've planted some trees on the French map so we'll have a go at doing some of those but when I start getting into doing some proper forestry probably be when the decent map comes out uh, for those of you who follow Alien Jim on Facebook you'll have seen that he has confirmed that No Man's Land is coming to FS22 not sure when but I will be jumping on that as soon as it drops I'm really looking forward to that I heard trees that take three years to grow full height yeah I'm imagine it's gonna be a fair while before they are I should have planted them straight away and as soon as I started on the map so they'd uh, get a chance to grow. Martin, hi. So Yuri boy, just subscribe, thank you very much. Hi from Norway, Seb. I don't know why Nightbot deleted that Seb. Uh, 
I didn't read the rest of the message. I need to play around with the settings for um, Nightbot and stuff, so apologies if you uh, feel a little harsh done by your message being deleted. I haven't had much time to uh, play around with the settings on the live streaming. So I've been quite a busy week again. Max, I love F S22. I pre commanded and play it the first time it was installed. That's no worry, Max. Jamie, and will you use the Ponzi or Rotna? Um, I probably will give them a go. I'm not particularly keen on those because I don't like the lack of control you get when you've got the tree. So once you've cut the tree and it falls to the ground, you can't rotate the head or anything. Um, you, I don't know why they don't let you have a little bit more control over rotation on the trees and that when you've got them. I don't like when it flips up, when there's not enough weight in the tree to hold it down. And then you start processing it and it pushes it in the ground and knocks your log pile over. And <laughs> it's one of those things I, I think if I spent enough time using the in game stuff, I'd probably get a lot better at using it. Um, but yeah, I don't use them often enough to get used to them. And as I mentioned last time, I got so used to using the FDR logging stuff that I found it difficult to try and use anything else without getting confused over the controls. So I probably will give the those a go to start with until some other stuff comes out. Peter, loving the new streams. Thank you very much. One of my new channel members. Yeah, I wish the game had fixed processor yet. Yeah, I can't understand why you can rotate it to line it up when you cut it, but then as soon as you grab that log, it's, it's like the game's like, nope, you're not allowed to rotate it now. It's just going to go where we want it to go. Yeah. Although Black Sheep Modding's um, Lieber with the grab on wasn't too bad on console. Although the uh, controls are a bit backwards for me. Reggie Shed, or Reg Shed. I see FDR working on a tiger, tiger Cat, yes. I've seen a few posts on um, from FDR, they're working on some stuff, but not sure how long it'll be before they've got them in game and working. Are you playing on PC or console? I'm playing on PC with an Xbox controller. I'm still having trouble with my uh, steering wheel. It seems for some reason I can't connect my steering wheel and Xbox controller at the same time. Um, the game, I'll only recognise two game pads, the one being which is the side panel. So it kind of takes half of the controls off the steering wheel and puts them on the, the controller. So I'm very limited to what the steering wheel will do, but I can't change the controls to the steering wheel without removing them from the controller so I'm not sure if that is just me that's having that problem or anybody else um, so yeah I'm just using my controller at the moment Blue Buzzard, Buzzard has become a member thank you very much really appreciate that Max has to leave I love your videos thank you yes welcome Blue Buzzard to the farm hand uh, what I'm hoping to do as well is for some future streams get the this game set up on a multiplayer and then my channel members I give them a chance to come and help give me a hand on the, the live stream so I'll try and get that set up possibly for next week it'll be a bit limited to how many people can join to start with because there's not much to do but as we get a uh, expand a little bit um, I'll open it up to a few more people so for the channel members check out the community keep your eye on the community tab for the memberships and um, I'll update it on there Blue Buzzard, no worries thank you for the content <laughs> yeah no worries
Thomas, welcome to the Farmhand channel membership. <laughs> Thomas got a new icon now, yeah. Green level. So, how's everyone finding the game now they've had a while to uh, play on it quite a bit? Any of the new features you're really liking or anything you kind of wish that have done a little bit different? So Petri, welcome to Farmhand. Apologies if I've pronounced that wrong. But for, um, appreciate you becoming a channel member. So there's a few things, now I've played it a little bit more, I'm getting used to like the changes in the game, kind of working out what works well, what doesn't work well. Uh, which a lot of it <laughs> may change with the next update as they fix a few things because it's it's not clear what things are, are the way they are because they're intended to be that way or whether it's because there's a slight bug or something. Ben, um, so difficult financially but a beautiful game. Yeah, I do think it is a little bit more difficult to make a money on it than it was on 19. I so said I don't know if that's intended or whether there's a few issues with pricing. The price fluctuation with the seasons thing doesn't seem to work at all. That seems way off. Um, the workers cost an astronomical amount. I think I worked it out to around about 3,600 per real time hour for a one worker. Um, which I'm sure in FS19 it was only about five 600 I don't know if that's intended or whether that's again uh, something they've just got wrong in the uh, in the file somewhere. Uh, the workers are now better in FS22. They do seem a little bit better at collision detection when working in the fields and turning a little bit better. Um, and the AI vehicle. When it works, it works really well, but it can be a bit frustrating. I mean, for, so, for no certain reason, it just seems to uh, say destination is unreachable. James doing, I just downloaded the game and modes that I had or pre ordered, but I haven't been able to link it to my Steam account yet. Yeah, I have no idea no idea how to do that unless you buy it through Steam um, and I know quite a few people with the the bonus content it doesn't quite show it that um, that it's actually the bonus content is installed in the game it just seems to show up and I had the same problem I put the codes in downloaded it and then couldn't actually find it on the um, so I was expecting it to show up in the model but you have to click on that um, extra content section to find it the farming glad hello sim how are you i am very well thank you what graphics do you play on i play on everything on the highest setting possible in uh, 4k resolution damage rate damage repair prices paint damage rate and repainting price all seems too high and expensive yes the um the repair costs do seem quite high. I went to repair my, I think it was the, one of the John Deere's on Elm Creek. I went to repair and it was like eight grand and I couldn't afford it at the time. So I was just like, yeah, I have to leave it as it is. But for how many hours it's got on it, it does seem a bit excessive. But I don't know if that's again tied to, if there's any link to how many months you've progressed as well like annual maintenance on it or anything like that it's one of those game mechanics that they don't fully explain how it works it's just there <laughs> what's your favorite tractor in the game as of right now out of the ones i've used i'd probably say the john deere 7810 uh, but yeah i haven't there's a lot i haven't used yet well, I do like the uh, the little Valtra G series is a nice tractor. I used that briefly on Elm Creek. 
Blue Buzzard, do you have a 28 Ti? Yes, I do. Oops, I've just knocked down another road sign. It's a good job we don't get fined for those. Um, if you want to paint a 400 PS tractor, costs nearly 40 grand. Yeah, it's, that's crazy. I mean, to be honest, painting vehicles is not something I'm bothered about. Um, I don't really see the point in respraying a whole tractor or an implement. Uh, but I like the fact that they've added it, but yeah, I, to be honest, I haven't even looked what the prices are for repainting. But it does seem a little bit excessive. What happens when maintenance hits minimum? Is it just a speed reduction, power reduction? Yeah, I think basically the the power is reduced quite significantly, so you may struggle to pull implements with higher horsepower, like close to what the top is, but how much of an effect it has, I don't know. My John Deere's on Elm Creek are getting pretty low. And I think all three of my tractors on whole baler on have all glitched out because of I've repaired them, but the bars still show that they're really low. And then when you go to repair it, it it's um, it's like thirty pound to repair or something. Uh, but then it doesn't fill the bar back up, so I don't know what's going on with those. I tried resetting the one and it didn't uh, rectify it. So yeah, I think uh, the tractors on there have glitched out a little bit. Is the gearbox? Is there a gearbox in FS22? Yes, there is. In the base game, there's a. You can choose between manual with clutch, manual, and automatic gearing. I'm not sure. I think on console, if you hold down accelerator, and then press up and down on the D-pad with uh, some tractors, you can switch through the gears manually. Um, obviously this tractor is like a, it's only got the drive neutral reverse, so it's an automatic tractor. But I think you can set it so you can manually, manually switch between the uh, drive and neutral and reverse. Ben Roman, that's because the front weight needs repaired. Ah, oh, is that what it is? Is it go by items attached to the tractor as well? I never, I never thought to check that. I'll have to have a look. I didn't think the um, the front weight would show up on the uh, the bath. I thought it was literally just for the tractor or vehicle. So Bongo Fury, just subscribe. Thank you very much. Uh, it takes the average of all the help. Ah, that explains it then. Uh, thank you for that, yeah, that um, makes a little bit sense now, but yeah, I never even considered that would be a thing. I should have probably gone the other direction, but as we've got a round baler, this might help stop them rolling down the hill a bit. Um, hey there, really loving all your videos. I've been watching most of your previous videos over the past few days. I'm honestly enjoying them all. Thank you very much, appreciate that. I assume what's the hardest part of recording time lapse videos in FS? Hardest part is um, I think probably one of the hardest parts is sometimes is just trying to find things to do um, and not trying to do too much of the same thing too often in uh, each video. I always try and do different things in each video which can get a little bit tricky. Um, the other thing I would say is, when you're first starting out, is trying to keep the camera as still as possible. Especially for time lapses, because it really doesn't look good when you're like this with the camera. Um, you imagine that sped up ten times, it doesn't look good, so... Trying to refrain from constantly moving the camera. I found that quite difficult when I first started. And to be honest, I didn't realise how much I actually did it until I started doing the videos. And I realised is I kept moving the camera every two seconds. I was like, 
Why do I keep doing that? Editing can be, if you're not into video editing, um, I know there are some people, I won't mention their names, that do literally record a couple of hours, put some music on and that's it. <laughs> yeah, no, my, my editing takes a little bit longer than that because I'll put all the, uh, the music track names on, um, add the extra graphics for the money, uh, a little bit of text, although my text is a little bit lame, I will admit that. Could be a little bit better. The text is the last part of the video I edit, I, I edit in. And, uh, sometimes I'm brushing a little bit, I don't spend a little bit more time and effort on the uh, text. So that's one thing I could improve on. Do you play every day? Pretty much. Uh, for the last couple of weeks, since the release of FS22 I have. Um, over the last year, because of, yeah, I was struggling with FS19 quite a bit. I was trying to get everything recorded in the week so I could have Saturday, Sunday without playing Farm Simulator at all. Um, for the most part that worked, but often I ended up having to record on a Saturday because I just couldn't get everything done in the week. Peter, personally, oh, I think the text is great. It took long enough to read. Yeah, I think it's it's not so much how long it's up there. Though. I think I could just do a little bit better with explaining what I'm doing a little bit more um, and the reasoning why I'm doing certain things. Because sometimes I, I'm, I leave myself wondering why I'm doing certain things the way I am. So I know quite a few people are always thinking, what the hell is he doing? Why is he doing that? Blue Buzzard Vegas Pro 17 does help quite a bit. I think Vegas has got quite a steep learning curve, um, but once you get into it, it is fairly basic. Um, in the the Black Friday sale last week, I signed up for a year's subscription to Adobe, so I've got access to all the Adobe apps. Um, including Premiere Pro, so I'm going to give that a go and see what that's like for editing videos and see how it's for rendering see if it improves rendering times and quality of the videos and stuff I'm not sure when the first video using that will be edited because I need to play around with it first so I've got that to try s s compare it to Vegas because Vegas is the only thing I've ever used so I've never tried another video editor so I don't know if it's if there's anything better out there. Peter, which mods do you currently miss the most? Um, extended placeables. I know it was released on Mod Hub, but it's not the same. Um, I was really looking forward to the extended placeables mod when I saw it in the mod list. A little bit disappointed. It's a bit limited on what it can do. So I'm hoping that gets an update so you can landscape closer to buildings, uh, landscape on land you don't own and place buildings on land you don't own and stuff like that like you could in the 19. Um, other mods follow me <laughs> I know you've got the AI vehicle workers but I think because you can't get a set of work up to follow you with doing bailing or like while you're doing the raking you could get a worker to follow you so follow me on this um, although with the prices of hired workers I don't know how much I'd use that at the moment so is there any other mods people are missing uh, let me know in the chat Dalmason I'm a bit late didn't you have a John Deere last week yes I bought a Massey at the start of the episode to do the light duty work we've still got the John Deere um, but yeah, I thought uh, 300 and what, 57 horsepower tractor is a bit much for a, a bit of wind ruin. <laughs> Sebastian, thank you very much for the 20 euro super chat. You are amazing. <laughs> I really appreciate that. He's awesome. Um, thank you to everyone as well for the super chats last week. You uh, contributed towards me uh, getting a few things for streaming. So I managed to pick up a few things in the Amazon Black Friday sale. 
So I did order a green screen and a couple of key lights. So hopefully I can get my webcam working in a few weeks time. So yeah, appreciate the super chats. They went towards that. Um, although my green screen still hasn't been shipped. Um, it's, I'm still waiting for a delivery date. I'm presuming Amazon had more orders than they had in stock. An easy development mod. Manual attaches out on the mod hub. For PC anyway. That was released uh, the other day. Although I haven't tried it yet. Because I'm not keen on using it in the time lapses because yeah I, I find that jumping in and out the track to, to attach things is doesn't look brilliant on the time lapse for in my opinion not sure how everyone feels how, how, how everyone else feels about that all right are we pretty much done I'll do that tiny last little bit and then we'll go and grab the baler are you going to do another setup tour? I am going to do another setup tour when I've finished my setup. <laughs> I I changed my setup earlier this year and I was going to do a setup tour and then I never got round to doing it. And then since then it's changed a little bit more, but I'm in the process of now I'm doing the live streams, uh, changing it again a little bit to make it easier for the live streams. So. Once that's all set up, I will be doing a new setup tour video, and it'll probably be after I do the video with the silver play button, which is not quite on its way yet. You don't think manual attach is realistic? It is for some aspects of attaching things, but yeah, other things you don't attach you can attach from in the cab so I think it's one of those for some things especially like older equipment it might be and for other things it may not be yeah so update on my silver play button I got my redemption code the other day so I've redeemed it um, they're getting it ready and it should hopefully be dispatched early this coming week so I'm hoping to get that just before Christmas and I can do a video of unboxing that and then I'll do the setup tour video after that so probably sometime over Christmas Henry do you do this as a full-time job Ed it's unofficially my uh, my full-time job I don't kind of class it as my job as such but yeah I don't have a, a job so this is kind of something I do in my spare time, uh, but yeah, it is pretty much my main source of income. Um, James, I don't think main. To, oh, I've read that one. Apologies. Uh, what amount did you start with? I started on farm manager, so we had the 1.5 million. Did we really start with that much? I'm trying to think now, what we spent all the money on. I bought a couple of fields. We bought the grain mill as well last week for those that missed that. So we do own the grain mill and we are processing some wheat we harvested for flour. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a bakery on this map, so we are going to have to build one so we can start manufacturing some bread. Or should we say baking bread? <laughs> manufacturing bread. Um, James, it should be modded so the hitching of the trailer and cab lines are out of cab. Yeah, the hydraulic hoses and electric cable and that should all be done out of cab, but yeah, the hitching should be able to do in cab. That would be uh, quite handy. So we'll return the rake because we don't need that anymore. Henry Cool. How many hours do you have in FS19? I don't know where the trigger is for the workshop. I don't know why when you remove interactive zone mark because it removes the, the triggers for um, the workshops which I find rather annoying uh, right let's turn that on oh, the tractors in the box <laughs> I didn't even drop it off in the box let's move this out of the way uh, what farming sim was your favorite 
Um, out of the ones I've played, the first one I ever played was 15. Um, I'd say so far this is my favourite. But I did really enjoy 19 because of uh, all the, like, the landscaping, um, the fact that you could like build your own farm up and stuff. Although there was placeables in 17, they were a little bit limited on what you could do with them. So let's get that returned. I just need to have a quick drink. Can you write somewhere too? Write somewhere, I don't know what you mean by that. Have I missed something? Uh, what? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what you mean by right somewhere too. Apologies. Um, hey Sim Gamer, do you have any ideas why we don't have the maps that show up in the game menu? Uh, not sure what what you mean by that either. The maps in the game menu. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. Um, Blue Buzzard, I'm going to have to go now, Sim. Sorry, don't worry. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in. I appreciate you stopping by. And uh, thanks for becoming a channel member as well. Peter, when are you logging? I've noticed that sometimes you split the piles to keep the heads out, and other times you do the. Yeah, I. The main reason why I keep the shorter bits out is they're often the main reason why log when you're trying to grab the piles they glitch out is because of those skinny end bits um, so often I just leave them and towards the end of FS19 I got fed up of collecting them all up to put them through the wood chipper <laughs> so I think on the the last few episodes of Crater Lake I just started just banging them in with the log piles because <laughs> I just I, I really like just didn't want to spend the time to deal with them um, Big Rich, hi all, hi Big Rich, how are you? Uh, thanks for stopping by. That farm that shows in the main menu. Oh, they're just um, artist uh, like graphics, artwork. They're not. I don't think there's ever been a game where the artwork on the main menu has ever actually been of the farm that's in the game. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Um, it would be nice because they do look like some cool farms <laughs> better than what's actually in the game uh, they should get the person that does the artwork to uh, design the farming game Peter saying thank you no worries yeah the only thing about the logging is sometimes it does take a lot of time um, it's a long process I do enjoy it but there are times where it's just like I, uh, yeah, I just <laughs> I had enough of logging. So one of those unfortunate things that, unless you get somebody to come and help you on multiplayer, there's or using auto load trailers, there's not really many ways you can uh, speed it up. Damien, hello, Sim. I love your time lapse. My English isn't very well, so I don't understand anything you say. <laughs> Thanks in France. I appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, and apologies you can't understand. That's a downside to this live streaming. Martin, hiya. Is it mod map or is it on the game? This one is the Swiss map, Erlingrat, which is the third map available in the game. I just need to check the bale wrapper. I think it's the, the middle size we can go up to, isn't it, for the bale wrapper? I don't think we can do the big bales. Where are we? Bale wrappers. So we'll probably lease the Caverland because it's the cheapest. Yeah, 150 centimeters we can do. I'll double check that before we start baling. 150. Okay. Sebastian, I'm apologies I've missed you uh, becoming a farm manager. Um, don't think the notification come through. So thank you very much for coming as far, man, Joe. Oh, well, that was quick. Did I already have some straw in the bale that's just turned to grass? I don't think I even picked anything up then, did I? I was reading the chat, not paying attention. It just started beeping. 
Um, Stevie4k gaming, how are you today? I am very well, Stevie. Thank you very much for stopping by. Um, what am I doing? Lower the uh, pickup would help. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the chat, Stevie, um, I'm hoping one of the weeks to open up this game onto a multiplayer to get a few channel members on uh, to give me a helping hand. So keep an eye on the the members page for a bit more information about that. Um, if you're interested in joining in one of the evenings, give me a hand. Trade and game style sub to see Steve for a year. Yep. If you've not yet um, checked out Steve 4K Games channel, one of my channel members, he do also does Farming Simulator 22 time lapses. So go and check out his channel. Can you write an Instagram for you? I do have Instagram, but I'd never use it. Um, same with Twitter. Uh, I can't remember the last time I posted on Twitter. Oh, when it comes to social media, I am very lazy. Even my Facebook page got very neglected, although I have started to post on there a little bit more. Uh, Steve saying, "Nice one, most certainly help join." Yeah, I'll get. I'll try and get it set up on the on the server within the next week or so. It will be a bit limited um, to how many people I have on to start with, because so there won't be much to do. So maybe just like one or two people. And then I'll try and increase that as we get more stuff to do. Um, all time favourite map. I think my all time favourite map is probably No Man's Land. I have really enjoyed that. And I, the only thing I disappointed more with, um, with the series was I had to kind of limit what I did on it in the end because my performance was starting to take a hit. Uh, pretty much the same on Wilhelmina Forest as well. I got to the point where it was like I'm really having to start limiting how much I build on the map and what I put on because it is starting to affect performance a little bit. So I'm hoping the FS22 will be a little bit more optimised that we can add a little bit more detail to the stuff we build on there and Oh, do I keep pressing the wrong button? And have a wider a variety of the production lines and stuff um, without affecting performance too much. I know mods, there's a lot of mods I had on there as well which didn't really help. Um, there's quite a few mods on there that affect performance a little bit too much. Um, Stevie's 4 game gaming hold a permanent server slot for me yeah yeah I'll, I'll try and sort it out if I know you're definitely going to be on then it'll be fine because I say until I ask people I don't know who's going to be available and what so we'll, I'll, we'll sort it out in the next week I'd, I'm currently in talks with Nitrado about partnerships so I should hopefully get my server set up through them to use for that so I just need to get that sorted out uh, big rich no hands down no man's land yeah I'm really looking forward to the 22 version especially with all the new production chains and the, the buildings it'll be interesting to see if Alien Jim comes up with any custom buildings for the placeables um, like the factories and that whether he's going to just use what's in the base game or whether he's going to do his own buildings or convert some of the um, the buildings he had in 17 to production buildings as well so yeah, it'd be interesting to see that any evening after 7pm I'm available yeah, that's awesome um, I think up until Christmas I'm going to do Saturday evenings um, and then over Christmas it will change obviously because uh, when Christmas falls so it will be I'm aiming Saturday for the next few weeks and then I may do a couple of 
streams over Christmas in between Christmas and the new year um, uh, we'll see how it goes anyway Russellin saying hi hi Dalmson what is your favorite map of Elm Creek or the French one um, hey oh, I think it's pronounced Oh, Bailaron, or I've, I've heard it pronounced a few different ways. <laughs> to be honest, um, I I prefer the American map over those two. Although I think it could be a little bit better. It just it does feel a little bit lifeless at times. Um, it could do with a little bit more traffic. Dewey has to go to bed now. Tomorrow work begin early. Uh, yeah, night. Nice. Um, appreciate you stopping by. Nick saying hello, hello. Yeah, I think the American map just feels a little bit lifeless at times, especially when you're driving down like the main road and you don't see a single car. It's like they could definitely do with improving the traffic a little bit, increasing that. Anytime Saturday is good for me. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing few early streams on Saturdays at some point just for people that can't watch in the evenings uh, well I say for those in uh, other parts of the world where it's an inconvenient time so I'm guessing that bell's just gone rolling into the road yes <laughs> Auto, the um, what was the? I can't remember what the name of the mod was. The stable bales mod, the one that stopped the uh, rain bales rolling. That would be a nice mod to have. True traffic was all a, a problem with farming sim. Oh look, that that bales rolled back into the field. <laughs> that was nice. Um, yeah, I, I like the fact that they've sped the traffic up. I do like the fact that it is a lot faster, although it, it doesn't stop at junctions, even if it's your right of way, as I've found out a few times. Seems a bit strange that you have to stop if you see one approaching a junction where they should stop, just to let them carry on. <laughs> they see me rolling, yeah. Peter, I wish John's did more with the farm in the top left corner of Elm Creek. Yeah, I was. I went on my test map and bought those farms just to see if you could open the doors when you owned it or delete the buildings. And why they haven't made it so you can use them, I just. I feel it's a waste. Um, and I think they advertise those for multiplayer, like they were saying, oh, in multiplayer there's other farms on the map that can be used and it's like well you can't use them it's just decorative buildings what's the point to them um, and I think there's a modded version of the Elm Creek where they've been removed so you can use that space um, I also can't understand why giants didn't make those buildings as placeables um, that you could use because I think the the buildings are could do with a few more American style buildings for the US map. I think it's lacking a little bit in US style like sheds and stuff. Yeah the traffic is suicide attack. It is. I'd still like to see a little bit more on the, uh, the US map though. Hello from Brazil. Hello to you. SR Stolf. I know that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's a lot of wasted deco buildings in that space. Yeah, that's. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if we had the um, object, the map object hiders mod that you could just remove them using that. Oh, I'm full. Why is it not beeping? Um, then you could remove them using that, but I don't know when or if that'll come to the game. Uh, probably be a little bit too late and you don't get why they remove the lever it 
possibly because they don't have the license for it anymore and they didn't want to renew it or maybe it's because they've got the other stuff in the game with so many class wheel loaders and there's so many telehandlers in the base game can't believe how many telehandlers there are in the game um, they might release it on mod hub if they've still got the license for it I'm sure they'll uh, they'll still use it Hi Johnny, how are you? Oops, yeah I did see um, quite a few people asking about the, the quad track last week. Um, Giants released the fact sheet Friday with the quad track on, which I'm presuming they it wasn't in the game on releases because it wasn't ready. Eric, hi, how are you? Hello from Germany. Yeah, I'm presuming those fact sheets were stuff that was intended to be in the release version, but they just didn't have ready in time. Uh, they were still working on them, so they'll, I imagine those will come with the next update of the game. Which I'm hoping will be within the next week. Oh no, your baler is broken. Is it? Why is it broke? It's probably acting up funny because I keep pressing the wrong button because I'm concentrating on the chat too much. <laughs> Raggy Rags just subscribed. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, it's not my bailer anymore. I think it's least. I think we leased the baler last week. I can't remember. Okay, so the plan for this week is get these bales out of the way. So that lower area of grass over there, it's pretty flat, is where we're going to start building up the uh, the farmyard. I wonder will we get the Coverland fast baler, um, the fast bale. I I imagine we will at some point. I was surprised that wasn't in the base game. Um, but I'm sure they'll probably release that at some point. It'd be interesting to see how that works, whether it's a fixed bale capacity on that, or whether you can change it. The only reason why I didn't use that very often is because it didn't seem to work very well with the uh, large capacity bales, with us using the variable bale capacity. I did a test on that with the 8,000 litre bales, it actually took longer to do a field with the fast bale than it did with the standard in-game in bale wrapper. Um, but the fast bale was faster if you did the 4,000 litre bales. Sam does stuff, wait, that's not the Italian flag log. Hello from Italy. Hey Marco. Are mods available on console? Yes, if you go to the main menu and click on the downloadable content section, there's several mods already released for console. Um, just make sure when you're on there you click show all mods because I think it defaults to... I don't know, actually I'd bet console because on PC it defaults to cross-play mods only, which doesn't show all the mods up. So if you are on PC, Deb, do check that you are showing all mods and not just cross-play mods, because you may be missing a few mods on there. So Peter, forgot to mention before, I really enjoyed your recent build series episodes as well. Really amazing what you can do with the base game. Have you tried the new slope tool much? I only had a quick play around with it, um, just to see how it works and it's I like it as a feature but it it's just trying to find it find out how to get it to do what I want it to do because when I was trying to do it it kept starting the slope too early um, but although it was making a nice slope it was just not quite in the right place so I was just trying to work out where I need to bring out the top level to 
to start it to then slope it down to the lower levels um, so it kind of works how I want it to. Do you play on PC with a controller? Yes, I use an Xbox controller on PC. Let's lower that back down because I forgot to do it. What's up, Big G? What's up, Sim Farmer? Since when did you do live streams? Since last Saturday, I did my first one. Um, for uh, my 100k subscriber special live stream, but it's something I've been planning on doing for a while. I've just uh, kept putting it off. So yeah, I thought last week I, the 100k subscriber thing gave me a, a good kick up the arse to uh, give it a go. Aaron saying good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'll say good evening for me. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. So Chase, hello from Canada, playing FS22. Hello. So which map are you playing on? So is anybody, anybody else currently uh, playing FS22 while you're, you're watching the stream? Let me know. Uh, let me know what map you're playing on as well. So we've got 168 viewers. So I appreciate everyone taking the time to uh, jump in the stream. Stevie, Xbox game, Xbox controller on PC is a talent in itself. <laughs> I have tried it and can't do it. I'm sticking with my wheel and the side panel. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so used to, because I've pretty much always predominantly gamed on my Xbox. Um, and so I, I started with farm cinema on Xbox, so moving to PC, it was just carrying on with the Xbox was the only way for me to go really. Shut that bell out of the way. Yeah, it's a shame we can't wrap the bigger bales because I'm to do these slightly lower capacities. Chase is also playing Erlingrak. Nice. Z Tracks official Hello, I am French follower and I love your content. Thanks for all. No worries. Do, do, do. Um, right, let me. Oops, no, wrong button. Apologies, I just need to. Apologies, just had to remove somebody from the chat. Um, Myers, I'm just about to jump into Elm Creek. Nice. Oh, got to lower the pickup again. Uh, yeah, so now I've played the game a little bit more, as I mentioned earlier, I've got slowly getting used to the changes there's a few things I really think Giants kind of kind of missed the boat on with um, a few of the features that could have just gone that little bit more with some of them um, I think what would have been really cool to see is the we've got the used equipment sales if they'd have had a little dedicated area at the shop where the the items on sale actually were displayed uh, so you would actually see those outside the shop on display when you drive past I think would have been a cool feature um, it would have been quite cool to see so just as you're driving by you might see that a nice combine harvester that you think oh that's on sale so see how much that is I think that would have been quite cool to see and I think some of the production mods I think that could have added a little bit more to some of them um, with the things you can uh, do from them and I say uh, I like the I like the range of new buildings within the game 
Uh, it's definitely an improvement from what we had at the start of 19, but I just wish there was a little bit more options for smaller sheds and cheaper options, because I do think they are quite expensive. And especially when you're starting out, you want to concentrate on buying things that are going to help you generate more income uh, than spending 300,000 on a nice equipment shed. I'm back to Wilhelmina Forest on FS19 because I miss all of those amazing mods way too much. <laughs> yeah, I, I always like the... Uh, I always like to um, play the game without too many mods to start with, just to see what it's like. And before then you just start getting loads of mods. So I like to try and try out everything in the base game as much as possible first. So I do have a few mods installed um, that have been released, but not too many. Uh, Stew in the shed. I've only discovered your channel a few days ago. Brilliant work. Have you seen the real numbers mod? You should use it. Um, I haven't seen that one for 22, which... I think I've heard the name Real Numbers Mod, but does that one adjust prices to make them more realistic or something else? I'm not familiar with it. Sheds are mad money in FS22, even the Easy Sheds from 19 were so much cheaper. Yeah, I can't remember how much the Easy Sheds were in 19. I don't think that too bad compared to some of the other ones and um, they are really nice models and I'm, I say Giants have done a really nice job adding as many options as they have but yeah it would have been nicer to have some maybe some older style sheds um, that would be a little bit cheaper especially for starting off I think it would have been so it's nice to have a, uh, a shed to put your equipment in Johnny, all the ground turned on glass on my game. All the ground turned on... I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean grass? Vincent saying hi, hello to you. Sam Dustoff, what was your favourite base game map from any of the farming sim? Mine is Europe from 15. I don't remember the maps from FS15 that much. Um, my memory's shocking. I vaguely remember playing the European map. Although I know I remember playing it quite a lot, but I just don't remember much about it. Um, I, I think out of the base game maps. I think out of the ones I've played, I think Felsbrunn's probably my favourite. I do really like that even now. Um, I do prefer Felsbrunn to uh, the new European map. Um, Elm Creek I think is the best American map they've had in the base game. I think it's much better than Ravenport. Hey, thank you for the subscription. Is that Helpan? Helpan? Apologies. I I have got that right, but I appreciate the sub. Any ideas how to get the box of honey out of the ground? Um, I think you can try lowering the ground with the landscape tool. I've not tried it myself, so I don't know if that does work. But I think you can if you try that, but obviously that's probably cost you more money than the honey's worth. Um, but yeah, I think that's a problem that's going to be fixed in the next update because I think quite a few people have had that issue um, from what I've seen on Facebook. But yeah, I'm sure somebody did mention you can get it out with the uh, landscaping tool if you lower the ground a bit. First, I've not tried it myself, so don't know. Didn't you have an RC channel before? No. You think you're mixing me up with someone else? I had a 
I channeled before I started this doing um, some of my like sharing some of my work on my, the scale models I built. Um, it was mainly just to share things with like friends and stuff. Um, so just doing like a few reviews on a few models and going through the build process. Um, but yeah, non RC channel. I think we are pretty much done with the bailing. Let's get that picked up. Unfortunately, we can't empty a bale, but we've only got 407 litres in the baler, so we're not losing too much. I think the bee hires has a trigger problem. Yeah, so I've not tried bees myself yet, um, so not sure on how well they work. Do you play other games? Not on my channel, no. Um, just solely farm sim at the moment. I may try a few other games at some point. Um, but yeah, I, the only content on my channel is FS17, 19 and 22. Big Rich, I used to be Sim R back in FS17 days. What changes do you think should be made to the active workers? Um, oh, he's not going around the island, but it's indicating. Uh, I think the the, the price how much you pay them needs <laughs> needs lowering. <laughs> um, I don't know what they. It would be nice if they worked a little bit more like um, the AI vehicle extension where they could calculate the field's edges and do headlands rather than just doing the up and down straight line kind of work. Uh, that would have been nice but yeah I don't don't see that coming from Giants as well. I don't think we'll get that in this game anyway. Um, maybe in the next version. What I would would have liked to have seen, which one thing I, f I was thinking they may have put in, um, when they showed the production mods with the the changes you could do with that, where you could auto distribute and auto sell products. When they was talking about like the improvements to the AI workers, I was really thinking they was going to just put a menu system in, where you could open up the map click on a field and then you could like hire a contractor to like plow the field if you don't want to do it yourself so you just set like I want that field plowed this is how much it's going to cost you say agree to it you pay it and then after so many in-game hours that field is fully plowed um, you don't see it being done but you have that option to just kind of hire somebody to do it that way um, I thought they may have gone down that route with some of the like the AI vehicle work, just having that in-game menu, so I was quite surprised to see the uh, sort of auto drive a little bit. Um, so we'll return this bale up because we don't need it again for now. Oh, we own the bale, so we did buy it. <laughs> um, how much game playing time does it take for a time lapse? Around two and a half to three hours in total. So we need the bale wrapper. Um, do, do, do. What? To actually, I'm still on 0.5. No wonder we're getting no new stuff. I just increased the uh, the game time. I forgot it was on 0.5 speed. All right, we want bale wrapper. And annoyingly, I returned the uh, the bale loader last time as well, which we should have kept. Let's release that because we have got quite a few bales. How many bales did we actually get? 27, nice. Uh, Malk, it amazes me that with all the excellent mods that don't get done, giants can't build them into the game. The code is written. I'm sure modders will allow them to use it or trade them. Yeah, I've does kind of make you wonder why certain things um, I'm presuming there is a well we just hooked up the baler again 
there is a reason why certain things don't get added. I think a lot of the mods is down to the fact that the game is also on console. Oh, the front weight. Oh, I took that off for the most. Just thinking then the front weight there. I bought it last week. <laughs> I took it off for the mowing. Um, yeah, I think the only trouble with the game being on console, giants don't like to add features that aren't on console, like so stuff that's on PC and not on console. They want to try and make a game that's pretty much the same across all platforms. Uh, the downside to console is you're limited to a controller because there's no keyboard support or anything um, in the game on console so you're kind of limited to the button configurations and to implement a lot of the mods you would have to have a lot of menu systems which I think would take away from the game if you're constantly having to open up menus to do certain things um, so I think that's partly the reason why some things don't get put into the game um, like GPS and things because I think you know the worker can work in a straight line um, so there's no reason why they can't have some sort of simple GPS where you can fix your track to going in the direction it's set to so to keep it in a straight line and you know the workers can turn around at the end of the fields to the correct spacing so yeah I think they could implement it pretty easy it's just how well they could transfer the controls to console Peter saying how do I keep tabs on your projects across multiple maps um, <laughs> it can be a bit tricky at times especially like so, um, that one episode on Elm Creek, I went to fertilize the field. And I last used the spreader on the other map with lime in it. So I instantly hooked up, uh, no fertilizer in it, instantly hooked up just assuming it was full of fertilizer. And it was full of lime, so. It can get a bit tricky remembering what you was doing on each map. But at the moment what I'm trying to do is different things on um, each of the maps just to try and uh, try out as many different things as possible but not be too repetitive so each map I kind of give myself an idea of what I want to do and then try and stick to that on each map um, a lot of the time it doesn't quite work out how I plan uh, but I'll try Peter said actually when you upload a mod the rule that joins is they can use anything you give them. Yeah, anything I think that's created using Joints Editor is basically then I think it's like kind of becomes property of Joints sort of thing. Um, I think that's a legal thing to cover themselves because they don't want people selling mods and uh, making money off their um, basically off their engine without because technically for for commercial use for stuff like that you would need a, a license to use it for um, to make money off it and um, because giants don't offer that service they kind of have that legal thing in that anything that's created through giants editor it's technically like their property as well so you're not allowed to sell it and make money off it um, from third party sites and things so I think that's more just giants covering their back with that aspect rather than doing it just so they can take stuff people make and use it for themselves <laughs> yeah Peter remembers that line part yeah it's because I've been recording on one map and then pretty much I edit it and then jump straight on the, the other map. And I'd just done some fertilising on the other one. I just instantly thought it had fertiliser in without even checking. Yeah, this bow wrapper does seem to go a lot faster than uh, 19. 19, some of the bow wrappers were like 
Oh my god, just hurry up and finish. <laughs> You're like taking forever. I know it might be realistic time, but... Oh, that's the bigger bale. That was the first bale we done. That's why that one was seven and a half thousand litres. So we can't wrap that one. Um, yeah, there are some aspects of the game where realism for me is just not needed. Like... Um, there was the the one tanker trailer that they'd put a realistic load and unload speed on and oh my I think it literally took me 10 minutes to unload the trailer and I was like this is you know taking the mick it's like I know it's a mod you modders want to make things as realistic as possible but at the end of the day it's a game and People don't have 8 to 12 hours in a day to sit there playing the game. They have a few hours in the evening. They don't want to spend 50 minutes waiting for a trailer to unload. Um, I mean, that's one thing that really gets me about some mods, is when they have stuff like that, it's just, you know, I don't expect unrealistic, like, 80,000 litres emptied in two seconds, but it shouldn't be taking like five, six minutes to unload a trailer. Stevie4k game says, I try to record two videos on each map at a time. Yeah, that's what I usually do. Um, it's part of the reason why um, I was releasing videos on 19, so back to back episodes on the same map. That way I could just record two episodes on that map and then do the other ones. So at the moment, because I'm alternating the releases, I'm kind of jumping between maps in between <laughs> recording to try and get things done to get them up uploaded on time. Changing the battle capacity is one of the best features for console players. I think it's one of the best features, uh, one of the best new features in general in the game, even on PC, because we don't have the variable battle capacity mod straight away. I'm not sure if that mod will come out now, but yeah, it is nice not to just have standard 4,000 litre bales from the get go. So I enjoy baling, I really do love it, but I'll much rather deal with half the amount of bales so having the 8,000 litre bales I used to do on 19 because like I say I enjoy stacking the bales I enjoy the whole process of baling and stuff so I do like doing it I just don't like the fact that sometimes it could take up the whole video just baling and picking up bales it was bad enough on Elm Creek episode that was out early today so many straw bales and they were 11,000 litre. Derek Smith, I enjoyed your farm builds on whole bale on. Have you ever considered map building? I have, but I just don't have the time to do it. If I was to build a map, I'd want to completely build a map unique to me. And that would be in terms of completely unique buildings to the map, which means I'd have to learn how to model 3D buildings and texture them, um, get them all in the game and learn how to get everything in the game so it's working, set up the XML files correctly and everything. So I would love to do it, I just don't have the time to dedicate to learning how to do it. Um, if I was to do it, I'd have to stop doing videos because I wouldn't be able to do both. I just wouldn't have the time to do both. Um, but it is something I would love to do. I am thinking of trying to get a mod released on Mod Hub for FS22. Uh, it would probably be a placeable building. Uh, I did start playing around on 19 with um, doing a few custom buildings. Uh, but again, I was struggling for the time to get them implemented into the game. Um, yeah. I may have another go and try and get one released for 22. Big Rich True, that's the same here. Yep. Um, 
He's just saying, haha, I remember the line part. I've read that one. Oops. Sorry, apologies. Again, I'm reading the chat. So unprofessional. Uh, Johnny, I tried to collect some square bales by telehander, but had the same problem in the, f the floating trailer. Oakfield Farm map. I, I didn't play Oakfield on 19. I played it on 17, um, not on on videos. Played it quite a bit on PC on like for my own before I started this channel. Uh, yeah, really liked Oakfield. I just became a bit tiresome that you had to keep driving round to get to some of the cell points. I just wish there was a few shortcuts on that map. Yeah, but I really liked Oakfield, it was a really nice map. Uh, Derek Smith thought you might say that, stick with your content, we'd miss that. Steve is saying, recently got Wi-Fi installed in my house, I don't know myself, I can upload a video in 30 minutes. But yeah, mine take an hour and 30 minutes for me to upload a video. Um, if I was using my normal internet, it'd probably take me about two days, especially with the file sizes. I think yeah, some of my, my videos are like six, seven gig in uh, when they've been rendered. So an hour and a half to upload, it's not too bad for me. Well, yeah, eight hours is a, a long time, especially if YouTube then decides that it's gonna not process your video and it's stuck on 0% processing. You have to re-upload it or something. That was a pain. Wesley, game has so many bugs, can't play, no course play, follow me, very rough. It has a few bugs, I don't think there's anything game breaking. Not that I've come across. Um, but yeah, there are, as ex expected I think it's a new release there was always going to be a few bugs they've missed out on because they can't fully test everything um, but yeah hopefully they'll get fixed soon so we are finished with the bailing I am going to lease the auto bail because I want to speed this up a bit now because we are what are we an hour and 25 minutes in so I was really planning on working getting a worker to call to plough our field or plough our field while we was doing this but <laughs> he'll probably use all our money up yeah I don't I, I say I, as I mentioned before I'm not too fussed that some of the mods are missing uh, so I'm enjoying the game as it is for now uh, but yeah it definitely would be nice if some of them are released soon how do I feel about FS22? Do I enjoy it? Yes, I am really enjoying it. As I say, still a lot to learn and a lot to try out. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm just really looking forward to some uh, maps like No Man's Land and stuff like that so we can get stuck into building up a farm from scratch. Peter, that's the big bell. Yeah, the the baler was already full of straw which must have converted it to grass when I started it up and it was set to the larger bale size so I think it just automatically did it that size so I can't wrap it unfortunately I'll keep it if we get some sheep or carrots oops yes you need to press RB and D-pad to turn your indicators off on the console William saying, love your farm builds, thank you. I say, I've not gone too mad with them so far, I've just trying to keep them, seeing what the game can do, like the base game, so trying to not use any mods on them. And they are like fairly modern style, quite clean and straight lines. Uh, but yeah, this lack of, um, 
older style buildings at the moment. I mean, everything's pretty nice, shiny, new modern buildings and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a few more uh, farm builds. So we can at least the bale collector. It's a shame they haven't got the smaller one. No bale collectors. How much is this going to cost me? We should make that back on the, uh, the bales once they're fermented. Yeah, grass does not degrade. Um, I don't think it does. I don't think that's... The bale degradation's a thing in game. At least I've not seen it. I've had a few bales out when it's rained and there's been no change in size, so I don't think that's a, a thing in the uh, base game. So Tristan's saying, look forward to the return of Mo No Man's Land. Yes, I am really looking forward to that. So not sure how long it's going to be, but at least we know it's on the way. It's been confirmed. No man's land I like the most, making custom fields, big or small, yeah. I think in general, no man's land, I never played on flat map because I felt it was a little bit I say too flat, too sparse, there was, you just needed to add too much to it to make it nice, um, again you get that issue with performance, you know there's no slot count on console but your PC still has a, an amount it can cope with before it starts getting affected by how much stuff you have on there. So I think No Man's Land was that nice kind of compromising it was a big open map to allow you to what you wanted to do but it wasn't completely open clear and flat there was some raised areas there was patches of trees so I think made for a much better maps to work with so it didn't look quite so bland for such a long time Derek Smith, I don't have FS22 still playing. Is that a Polish map? I don't know how you pronounce that, but playing on 19, plenty of scope for making fields on there. Yeah, I'm not f familiar with the name of that map. Um, is it a Polish map? Well, there were so many maps on 19 that I'd never got a chance to look at. I think it's part of the problem as well with the game being three years in between versions there was obviously so many more mods released than I think 17 and maps so there's so much stuff there's a lot of stuff that probably good stuff that I missed uh, that I just never had time to get to Mar Marjan, uh, Marhan. Uh, I have low end PC that runs FS19 on 30 FPS and a ton of mods on No Man's Land and still had 28 FPS. Yeah, No Man's Land on mine, the only the only area where I had a problem was looking towards the cow, the, the dairy farm where I put the cows. Um, the FPS would drop to around about 40 when I was looking in that direction from the main farm. Everywhere else it, it it was pretty stable until towards the very end um, but I think in 19 I think cows were quite performance hungry because every map I had Wilhelmina Forest around the cow yard was always pretty laggy or oh, but frame rate would drop on there so I don't know if it was just a thing with the cows Peter, are you more team green or red case? Uh, I don't know. Oops, what are we stuck on? It's 
seemed like the trailer was floating then. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I do. I do like some of the stuff from both. I don't know if I have a particular favourite. Yeah, there's a. I think there's an issue with Mack trucks in general with um, the way they've set the uh, set them up in the files. I tried one with the, I think it was the double trailer, the Load King double trailer, and I was just testing a few things, and yeah, I couldn't even move it empty. <laughs> it just sat there. I was like, oh, yeah, this is uh, this is game good. I think that's another thing that will be fixed in the um, the next update. So have we got all the bales from there. Yes. When can you do a face reveal? I will be doing one when I do the video with my silver YouTube play button. Hopefully before Christmas. Just depends how long it takes to arrive. And then after that, I say I'll hopefully get my webcam set up so. And get that sorted for the live streams. Yeah, Polish map, love the atmosphere. Uh, a lot of Polish. Yeah, I've looked. A lot of a lot of the Polish maps do look very very nice. Um, it's just that thing again, just having the time to fit one in. They always get released in the kind of the wrong time for me to do anything on. But yeah, in 22, I'll, I do want to try a diff, uh, more variety of maps. So definitely, we'll try and. Uh, oh, we are four. Oh, I'm going to pick that one up. So I I'm not sure. Anybody know how long they take to ferment? Three, three percent. Right. So I think for now. I'm just going to leave them on the trailer for now. Just get that dropped off. So the plan is to use this fairly flat area to build the farmyard. So I think the first thing we'll be doing, we'll probably just get a shed in to store the equipment. So we're going to have to get those two bales moved. I'll get the front loader on the Massey and we'll get that over here. Um, these areas of grass need lime and plowing. No, but I'm not too fussed about the grass. This field needs lime and plowing as well. And I think the other field we bought also requires lime and plowing. Um, I really dislike this, that it shows the whole map as requiring plowing and lime. I'm hoping that's not intended and that's gonna be fixed and just show the fields that need plowing because that's yeah <laughs> it's horrible <laughs> you can't even see the fields it's like I say I'm hoping that's not intended so field 11 is the one we bought and field 4 which contain this area of land here which we just cut so that's great first fertilization but I'd maybe cut this area up here again or say we want to build the farm on here so field 11 needs plowing a spore and they, they both require lime as well so we'll probably get some lime and fertilize spread on those before we plow them i just wanted to check so we are in september so if we want to do canola we need to plant it today uh, i'm not too fussed about canola as we've got the grain mill i think wheat barley would be better for us so we can wait till October to plant those so we can get the fields prepped uh, there was one thing there was a field that was sorghum um, which one was it I don't know if it's been harvested I think it has the yeah, field six was sorghum that was ready to harvest earlier but it's been harvested that's a shame um, yeah 17 17 is that sorghum or potatoes yeah sorghum that's potatoes 
Um, how much is that to buy? Don't really want to spend too much money on land, but okay, clicking on that for the farmlands, it's that one. Uh, 231, uh, don't have 249, we can't quite afford that. Um, yeah, so I think we'll stick with the two fields we've got for now. Um, possibly look to buy another field in the future. So we can't sell the silage bales yet because they're not ready. So, um, let's have a look. As we've got a bit of time, let's go into the construction mode. Uh, apologies, I haven't been looking at the chat for a little bit. <laughs> Peter, are you more team green? I've read that one. Why do I keep reading the same ones? The chat doesn't move as quick as. Yeah, not as quick as when I had like 300 viewers last time, it was moving a little bit quicker. So, construction mode. So, oh, I thought I'd missed a bell then. No, that's the, uh, the one that can't fry. That's a bush. <laughs> I thought that for some reason from this distance, I thought that that was a bale over there. Yeah, some really nice buildings, but they are crazy expensive. Um, I did download the composite machine sheds from Vertex Designs that were released yesterday, I think, which were in 19. Which are really nice buildings and a lot cheaper, but I'm sure they're a hell of a lot more expensive than they were in 19. I don't remember them being that expensive in 19, but I may be wrong. Um, hmm. Yeah, so we don't have a huge amount of options so far. Um, Bendo, do you play this game a lot? Yes, I have to play this game a lot to get the videos. Uh, FS19, I had over five and a half thousand hours on Steam in total, plus a, a few hours on Xbox and a, my other Steam account, um, which I'm not sure how many, I think there was a couple of hundred hours on that one. So I think overall around about 5,700 to 5,800 hours in total on 19. So yeah, but that was like three years of doing video content and each each video takes around about two and a half three hours so it does add up um shift p opens your construction menu straight out oh thank you for that i was wondering if there was a shortcut but i hadn't bothered to check <laughs> so appreciate you letting me know um Derek Smith, it does look like the area of germany near the swiss border yeah i think this is a swiss switzerland map um The one that was released for the Alpine DLC on 19. Jesco Sim Farmer, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the map you made last update to how about you run. Perfect job, thank you. No worries. Um, so what should we do? Should we build a shed? Wait for a little bit until we've got a bit more money. Um, make some more money first before we spend money on stuff that's not going to make us more money because we've still got equipment to buy. So. Do want to get stuck in with building the building the yard up, but I say it's just that thing. We still got equipment we need. Um, we definitely need to get a spreader anyway, so because we're going to need to spread fertilizer and some lime. It's not updated yet. Come on, people, where's the used equipment? Um, Jason, I would wait to make money first. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I don't really want to spend 100 grand on a shed. I'd rather put 100 grand in something that we can utilize to make more money. Um, we do need to build a bakery at some point though, because the map doesn't have one. Um, we do own this. I think we've got around about seven, 8,000 liters of flour. Let's have a look. So, so far we've got yeah, 7,113, 15 liters in storage of flour, plus the I think there's about five full pallets of flour that spawned. So we can sell that straight off if we want to. If we get desperate for money anyway. Our price isn't great anyway at the moment. 
if we do get a bit stuck for money we could sell those um yes yeah, so i think we'll get the spreader and then we can get the lime and fertilizer spread then get that field plowed get it ready for a new crop so it's not fertilizer spreaders yeah, that one's pretty pricey hey I think we'll just go with the smaller one because lime seems to last a hell of a lot longer. So I think we'll go with that. Uh, we can always do some fertilizing contracts with it as well to earn some of our money back. So I think the silage bales, no. Um, if you're doing a baling contract, they instantly ferment. But if you look down in the bottom corner, it says fermenting 4%. It's only the baling, the silage baling contracts where they instantly ferment. So you're selling, uh, delivering silage bales and not grass bales like on 19. I did wonder that myself because when I accidentally unwrapped those bales on Elm Creek, um, I was like, oh, they're silage straight away. I wasn't expecting that. And then when I did... Um, I was playing around on the test map, I did some silage bales and I went to sell them and there was like still grass, I was like oh, um, so they do ferment, yeah it's just the contracts, so if you're doing the silage contract they do turn to silage instantly when you wrap them with the, I presume they've got it that when you use the borrowed equipment or, they, I don't know how that would work, how they know how they know that bale has come from that field. Yeah, not quite sure how that actually works. Because if you use your own equipment. I'm wondering. I was just thinking if you baled up a load of grass in your own field. And then took out a baling contract. If you wrapped your own bales at the same time the contract's open. Whether they would ferment straight away or whether it knows that those bales aren't off the contract field it's quite interesting uh, thing to try out any news about season pass or precision farming precision farming is coming in early next year as a mod on the mod hub same as 19 um, season pass it's far too early for him to um, announce anything that's going to be in the season pass other than the fact that they've said it's going to be free like add-on packs and then the one expansion DLC uh, which I presume will be out this time next year as it's the year one so expect all those within the next 12 months so I'd probably say we give it three months so early next year before we get the first DLC and then probably three months after that three months for the third one and then I say around 12 months after release for the expansion pack as I kind of imagine how they're gonna do it Gabby DLC 11 bro your stream and voice is just so relaxing <laughs> thank you yeah I quite often have people say my voice is relaxing but it's one of those things when you start YouTube and you're doing editing videos, you have to listen to your own voice and I'll, it's like, yeah, I can't stand listening to the sound of my own voice. <laughs> it's one of those things you have to learn to do. <laughs> well, yeah, quite a few people say that. I don't know where they're coming from, but yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. If it's contracted, it's silage right when it's wrapped. So if you wrapped your own, then you use them for contract. They would probably have fully fermented. Yeah, that's one thing, because I don't know how they could know that the, that bale, they're going to say that, that grass is not from the contract field. It'd be something to try out. Um, not that it really matters unless you're desperate for money and you want your bales fermented straight away. Um, but yeah, it'd be just interesting to see if it does actually work. It'd be one of those things that work... Um, as unintended. I think the lime station is just down there. I should have gone the other way, it would have been a bit quicker. Uh, right. 
does it take time for silage to run? Yeah, I think it takes one one full day, like 24 in-game hours, I think, to fully ferment. Yeah, I can't listen to my own voice. I blame anxiety for it. I just think I sound like an idiot. <laughs> Since I stopped working, because I, I used to work in West Bromwich, in the deepest, darkest black country, and I used to pick up a lot of black country slang, and um, yeah, my videos were awful because I'd just I'd been at work all day. You come back, do a video, and you just naturally fall into your um, your work talk, <laughs> which doesn't go very down very well to some people when they can't understand a word you're saying so for any anybody from around the Midlands will know what I mean especially those who uh, know what them um, proper like thick black country accent is like or oh, I say black country dialect should I say I remember the the last job I had I started um, I started working there and uh, there was a an, an old fella named Arthur, he was a, he was a, a laugh, absolutely <laughs> looks so hilarious to work with but the first time I met him he stood there talking to me and I turned to the bloke next to me and said what the hell did he just say and I couldn't understand a word what he said because his, his accent was so thick and it was so funny because a few years later we had a new, a new bloke coming to work and it was kind of the same thing. We're standing there and just talking to this new bloke and the new bloke turned to me and said, what did he just say? I said, give it a few years and you'll, underst you'll understand what he said. It was quite funny. Can you give an example of work talk? Oh, can't say doodly without saying doodly. Yeah, it's properly, it's all yam. Yam this, yam that. Yow, yow ko do that. Yam saft, yow am. Or you could say bonk instead of bank and chair, chair, or fridge. I probably can't do it as much as I used to because it's been coming up to eight years since I last worked in the uh, in West Bromwich Black Country. But yeah, from um, a lot of the people I worked with were from uh, Neverton, Dudley, Old Hill, uh, Craigley Heath. They were all like very, uh, very thick black country. Boston is another one. And then originally I'm from Walsall, which we tend to talk quite slow. So you, Walsall's probably more like, yo, you're all right, kid. Yo, all right. How are you doing? Like, yeah, no way you'd follow that dialect yet. <laughs> I say, I, sometimes, until I got used to it myself, I was I only, I grew up, lived and grew up in Warsaw for like 24 years and it's only a few miles from West Bromwich. And say, so it's just amazing in the UK how you can go five miles down the road and the dialect and accent is so different in such a short distance. It's, um, it is quite amazing. Um, but yeah, I say, I struggle to understand it myself and I'm like, I would class myself fairly local. <laughs> Alexandros saying hello. Oh, just crashed into my trailer. For some reason I saw the trailer and then took no notice of it. Where's our masses over by the store? Right, let's get this over there. Take the baler as well because we actually own that. Donna saying hi. Hi, how's you? I am good, thank you. How are you? And TDC64 saying hello. Hello to you. As you were saying, the black country. Yo, all right, mush. Yeah, we have so many accents here in Ireland too. Yeah, it's it's amazing because like, um, when you're not from a local area, 
It's like the Midlands. Everyone just assumes you're from Birmingham. It's like, oh, you're a Brummie. I'm safe. Because to everyone else around like the UK that doesn't n know the area, everyone from the Midlands sounds the same. But if you're from the Midlands, you can tell somebody from Wolverhampton, uh, from Warsaw to Birmingham to, let's say, the Black Country, you can tell the difference. But then to the people a bit further away, they all sound the same. When it's, it's probably the same in other areas, like Liverpool. To everybody else, <laughs> they all sound like the Liverpoolian, where people in Liverpool probably know exactly where in Liverpool they're from whether it's from the Wirral or a little bit further out or what not. Yeah, but it's, it's quite a funny old thing. Papa Sal, if you don't mind sharing, how old am I? I am too old to be playing games now. I am... I'm trying to think how old I am. <laughs> Nearly 40. I've got a few years left of the big 4 row, so not quite there yet, but nearly. But yeah, I've been I've been playing video games since that's for as long as I can remember. Um, just done that again. Yeah, from my very first games console was a. Uh, I don't know if anybody would ever remember it. Uh, console called the Amstrad GX I think it was a 4000 <laughs> that was the very very first games console I ever had with a game called Burning Rubber um, not sure how old I was I think then 89 I had a Sega Mega Drive oh, Sonic the Hedgehog God, spending so many hours playing that game well, yeah, I've grew up with computers, video games. All right, which way round is this? Steve is not much older than me, I'm 35 in four weeks. Yeah, I, I know there's people older than me. Um, well, yeah, no, as, as I said last week, I think men mentally I stopped aging in my early 20s. <laughs> I just physically carried on aging. <laughs> Peter's in his mid thirties and love gaming. Don't see myself ever stopping. Yeah, I, I say it's it's the one hobby that has always been there with me. I've had so many others that have come and gone over the years, but gaming's always something I've always done. Um, I do have some periods where I've kind of lose interest in games for a bit and spend a lot of time doing other things but it's I always come back to it so yeah no intention of ever uh, quitting <laughs> I say farm sim for me is I just find enjoy how relaxing it is and I can just pass a good few hours away with forgetting all the, the cares and troubles in the world so Big Rich is 55 so yeah I say I think there's uh, people of all ages oh, we don't, don't need that anymore do we finish off the lime spreading Alexander came for far for the sim farming stage for the lecture on British accents. <laughs> not, not quite a lecture, more of a just sharing how it is. Yeah, a little bit of information. That's why I say it's, that's why I, I like doing, the idea of doing the live streams is, because that's the kind of thing you can't really talk about in a video. It's, that's why I think li live streams are more fun for stuff like that. It's, I so say people get to know me a little bit more um, and I can interact with the viewers a little bit more. I so say otherwise it's timeless channel at times, it just feels like a bit of a... There's n you can put your personality into your videos a little bit but it's, people still don't kind of get the sense of who you are and 
what you like as a person and yeah I know it's one of those things not everybody's gonna like me um, not everybody's gonna like the style of streaming or style of game I'm a pretty chilled out laid-back person um, I say I just like to have fun and chill out and relax so I know if I'm like that then there's gonna be a lot of other people the same as well so so there's an audience for everybody and there's a, a content creator for everybody as well on YouTube I mean I find some streamers are a little bit too full-on um, I think they do amazing content and they're brilliant at what they do but it's just a little bit too much for me it frazzles my brain when they're they're so full-on in the streams I, yeah, I struggle with them a bit so I, I like the little bit more of a laid back chill out uh, and relaxing kind of style to play but I'm the same with everything I'm always I always class myself as a hardcore casual gamer because I've spend a lot of hours playing uh, Marius thank you very much for the subscription yeah I spend a lot of hours playing but I'm not one for taking it too serious so I like a challenge and I like, you know, to push myself in games a little bit, but I don't like it when it gets too frustrating that it takes the enjoyment away. Um, it's one of those things when it stops becoming fun, what's the point in, in carrying on playing? And I know I've got friends that are hardcore into, like, multiplayer games, and they take it way too serious and why. <laughs> for me and they get proper angry if they like get killed or something doesn't go right and for me I'm just like yeah it, it happens don't worry about it just get on with it as long as you're enjoying it and you know carry on so yeah I've never been one to try and top leaderboards or stuff like that yeah, it's just have fun like I always say with farms in there's no right way to play the game there's no wrong way to play it. If you play it how you enjoy playing it. If you like using auto load because you don't like bow stacking, go ahead, do it. Don't let anybody tell you you shouldn't be doing it. It's unrealistic. Um, if you enjoy doing it that way, do it. Go for it. Uh, Big Rich agrees. Just Jason, I'm the same. Same Derek's. Derek's 59. Enjoy playing FS. Struggle with anything more frantic. Yeah, I'm not. My um, hand eye coordination is not great, so first person shooters, when they do get a bit hectic, I'm a little bit slow. So I'm, I've never been good at them. I know I've never been good at them. I don't pretend I'm anything that I'm not. Uh, but I still enjoy them, but I, I say I don't get too disappointed if I don't do very well. Um, it's the kind of thing. I'm always the one that, by the time I've thought about switching to my pistol because my gun's empty, I've been shot. <laughs> it's like reaction time is too slow. But yeah, I used to enjoy Battlefield with uh, playing with friends from work. Don't know, auto, auto enjoy load for wood. Yeah, it, I can understand that. Um, loading logs is not an enjoyable thinking game. Uh, I don't use auto load log trailers I, to be honest I don't apart from the the actual proper bale stackers that collect the bales I don't use auto load trailers that much I think I did use an auto load pallet trailer in one of the series a little bit because I was getting fed up of loading up the pallets But yeah, I don't tend to use that much. I, mainly because I enjoy the bale stacking, and to a degree, I enjoy loading up the logs. But it does get a bit tiresome after a bit. Right, so we want to go to field eleven. Let's go this way. Uh, what's that, Derek? 
I mainly play FS and dismantle some Zomboid when I'm feeling frisky. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do enjoy playing other games. Um, I've been playing a little bit Forza Horizon 5 recently. I do like Forza. Uh, uh, before that, I was playing Cyberpunk 2077. I went back to that. So I got that on release and then kind of gave up on it for a bit and then went back to it. Uh, I do like Cyberpunk, but yeah, I think it's not quite um, the game I was anticipating it would be. Uh, it's a shame it was such a mess on uh, such a mess on um, the older generation consoles. Derek, you'd slay your mates cleaving through woodland. <laughs> yeah, ho hopefully in the future, so if we can get multiplayer working and stable, I might be able to get a few people on to help me do some uh, forestry work in the future. Even if it's just like carting down to the uh, sawmill and stuff. I say it does take a while. That's the only downside is, especially maps like Crater Lake. Uh, when there are so many trees to uh, clear before you can get going. What I found is often is with those maps you can there's far too many trees to clear that it slows progress down without just getting like the black sheep modding treks and just deleting the trees. Um, it does make progress very slow but then at the same time you do make so much money off the the trees that you kind of lose that small farm quite quick because you've got so much money it's just like you can pretty much buy everything and anything that's why crater lake i tried to slow the progress down a little bit so it didn't expand too fast um, but towards the end you was getting to that point where you know you can go and buy a 800,000 Cotton Harvester and uh, John Deere X9 <laughs> Combine without too many worries. Uh, Steve says I have the FDR login ex equipment experience. Yeah, yeah, we'll try and sort something out in the future. Find some suitable times to do some stuff. Um, hopefully, uh, say the FDR login stuff will be the sa same control layout, so it's straight and there's no uh, learning curve again with it. And hopefully you can get it working uh, pretty well. So Peter's saying the thing I don't like about auto load wood and the Taj fun. We are all out of lime, so we're going to refill. Um, I know there's no collision on those fences, but we'll, we'll go through the gap anyway. Have some sense of realism. Um, Ancient Salt, hey, good evening. I don't know if I've spotted you before. Um, I think they load the selling price for timber in FS22. Yeah, I think everything seems a little bit lower because I think they are really pushing you towards doing production. It does really seem like the crops that have, or the products that have a, a, a use within a production line, it seems like they've lowered how much you can make off them to kind of push you towards more wanting to do the production lines whether that is the case I don't know that's just kind of my take on it so as with wood you can do the carpentry produce furniture I don't know whether it's that they've kind of lowered the the wood to do that because I think if you make too much money off the logs what's the point in uh, producing furniture when you can just sell the logs and have more money without going that extra process so I don't know if that's the case so that's kind of what my feeling is towards that uh, KJT Farms saying hello hello to you Eric hey Sim what are your favorite settings regarding plowing at the moment I've got everything switched on so stones in the field, lime, 
plowing and weeds are all switched on. Uh, basically that was just because I wanted to try them out and see how they worked with the new season cycles and stuff like that. Um, the stones in the field is probably the first one that will get switched off. <laughs> I like that it's a feature but and I know if if you're doing a no-till farm and you're not ploughing or subsoiling then once you've removed them the first time you're never going to have to deal with them again. Um, as a, again, if you, unless you're doing crops that require ploughing, they're not. It's not something you're going to have to deal with every time. But if you're doing a map that's, if you're doing large corn fields and you are doing the ploughing after, if you've got that switched on, oh, wrong way, wrong way, sim, wrong way. I can see it becoming very tiresome, uh, very quick. I can see a lot of people that will be the first one to get turned off. Uh, I like the feature again, it's one of those things, some areas you probably won't have that problem. It, it all depends on the field you're in. Uh, some areas are naturally going to have more rocks or stones in the field than other areas. So it's kind of not that thing that every farm does. So yeah, I think that one will probably be the first one to get switched off. Weeds so far, I'm finding they're not so much of a problem as there was in 19. Uh, the main reason I switched them off in 19 was because I just, I just found them so frustrating. In the base game, because of the way I do the videos, I was often skipping through the night to get to the next day to start. Um, Simfarm, why is the stream in 720? Um, it's possibly because Streamlabs has um, auto-optimised the settings when I started the stream. And I think it chooses 720, so apologies if it's in 720, I didn't realise. Um, I just click go live and I, I think Streamlabs does an auto optimization thing for the stream and I think they must have put it in 720 can't remember if it was it 720 last week I did originally set it to 1080 but I will have to check so yeah apologies if it's only in 720 that wasn't intentional Donna I know a modder that already made a factory so rocks can be made into lime yeah, I thought that was um, part of the game for some reason. I thought the debris crusher was the kind of thing that you could get. Or at least get something from the stones, like you could produce gravel or something to sell on rather than just sell the stones. Stevie 4K to 720 is perfect on my phone now. Yeah, I think for a phone, 720 is probably okay. So I'll, Last week was the first stream I did and it was a kind of a impromptu thing so I kind of just jumped on and changed a few settings and went live. So I need to spend a bit of time in the week to go through all the settings and get everything uh, dialed in. Alex DC, yeah I like the rock feature but I think there are too much stones in the field. They need to be more. Yeah, I do think that. Um, it would be nice if you just got random big rocks come up every now and then. Uh, a little bit bigger than what the large rocks are in game. Because they are quite small. But yeah, I don't know again how often the the large rocks actually show up. Because um, it doesn't seem like they show up every time you play. So if you only get the small stones, you can just go over the field with a roller and remove them that way, which is obviously a lot quicker. Um, plus you create the seed bed as well, so you get that extra 5% bonus. I've seen there is going to be a mod where you can make lime from stones. Yeah, that would, would make it a little bit better to use. I'm not sure how much lime you would get from the stones though. 
and how much money it would save because lime is pretty cheap to buy but I suppose it would help make that little bit of extra money so ample amplified man sorry that's another thing I need to do is just increase the uh, chat text just slightly so it's a little bit easier to read um, what's your favorite map sim farmer out of the current three we have Elm Creek is my favorite um, uh, W P me Cuba or Cuba just subscribe thank you very much um, in farm simulator in general my favorite has been no man's land um, simply because of what we could do on it uh, but yeah I really enjoyed Grizzly Mountain but that was more just because that was the first time doing that kind of forest forest to farm thing for me um, that was like the first time playing on a map like that as well so yeah Gri Grizzly Mountain will always have a, uh, a lot of fond memories of that and I, I still have Anybody that watched my uh, previous setup tour from last year, I think I've got a Grizzly Mountains like background on my my PC. That's still still my background image is the Grizzly Mountain farm. I've never got around to changing it. Um, Derek Smith, I remember the days of black and white TV, free channel choice, and certainly no internet. Be thankful. I used to. When I was younger, I used to spend a lot of time at my nan and granddad's on the weekend, and I used to take my my console with me, and I used to set up with a little portable TV that was black and white. <laughs> I remember playing on like a Road Rash on my Mega Drive on a black and white portable TV at my nan and granddad's when I was younger. So, yeah, although I'm st still, you know. Not not that old, but yeah, I do have experience of gaming on a black and white TV. Amplified man, I agree. Amplified, I still have Farm Sim 19. I still have Farm Sim 19 installed. Um, I won't be going back to it. When 19 was released, I deleted 17 and all the mods. I just instantly deleted it to free up space, and I've never played 17 since. Um, I, I was going to do with the same with 19, but I've just not got round to it yet. Johnny, why did a few episodes on Ellen Um The reason why it stopped was mainly because nobody was watching it. Um, at the time I was averaging around 15 16,000 views on every video and I was putting Erlingrat videos up and I was only getting 5,000 views and when you're spending like six seven hours in total on a video it's kind of disheartening to see that so little views I know to some people 5,000 views is a lot um, but it's kind of like saying can I keep justifying my time doing videos on a map when it's just not getting the views other series are getting so it kind of stopped but I think part of the problem was I think the map in general ac across YouTube in general I looked at a few other channels that did videos on it and they they were in the same thing where their videos on this map weren't getting the same views their other maps were getting and also I think the way I was doing the series I wanted to start off utilizing as much stuff out of the DLC as possible um, with small equipment and I think a lot of people didn't get what I was doing I will just unload this here so they can go and fill up with fertilizer uh, constantly getting comments saying oh you need to buy a bigger tractor you need to buy this you need a bigger combine I'm like yes I will when I've got the money um, but at the moment we're doing quite steep terrain so I'm using the small equipment that came with the DLC to kind of show that off and yeah just don't think a lot of people kind of got what I was trying to do on the map and 
maybe that was why there wasn't so much interest I don't know uh, but I do I do like this map it is for like a map from Giants it is a very nice map yeah you said when I stopped yeah I was a little bit because I really wanted to try and progress on it um, but there's been a quite a few series like that where there's just for whatever reason people have not taken to the map or the series in general so um, I think most of my British series so Peterville finished early Oops. Harpy um, just subscribe thank you apologies if I got that wrong um, yeah so I think Peterville finished early again that wasn't getting great views but also that map came out before seasons mod was available and there was no contracts on the map which made it very difficult to try and find stuff to do so it was kind of like every other episode it was cutting grass for baleage soils or um, so silage bales silage um, fertilizing or harvesting it was just it got repetitive for, for me there just wasn't enough to do on Peterville without the contracts to um, earn enough money to progress on that so that finished early Marwell Manor Farm finished early for me because I got I simply got bored of the map it was a a small map with really large fields and very generous starting equipment so it didn't take long and you'd already got quite a lot of big stuff and again without seasons it it kind of I say it just got a bit tedious to play a really nice map especially for one of the early maps on 19 but I got a little bit bored of that and I think that reflected in the views as well because the views started to drop on that and um, so we want pallets big bags solid fertilizer so glad they added that in um, why, why it doesn't work on everything but and I keep forgetting it's there <laughs> on, on some of my new videos you'll see I keep individually buying bags because I keep forgetting that option um, but I really wish they would have added the bulk fill mod as a feature so you could you don't have to keep individually filling up each bag Uh, Steve is saying, responding to Amplified Dam, Amplified Man, should I say. Rasmus, I hope you're okay. Thank you very much. I hope you are too. Um, I especially love your series on Medicine Creek. Yeah, I really enjoyed Medicine Creek, but the map, performance-wise, the map was just horrendous for me. Um, I was getting so many problems with performance on that map. I just, I, I spent so many hours trying to rectify. It. I was going through mods to try and find if it was a mod causing the issue. Um, I just could not nail it down, and I was like, I can't spend any more time trying to fix this, and I can't play it because it was, it was horrible to play on performance-wise, which is such a shame because it was a really nice map. 8,000 litres should do nicely. Should keep us going for a while anyway. This fertiliser and lime do seem like you don't use as much. Uh, somewhere in, was it Thuringia? Or I don't know how you pronounce it in German. Um, yeah, I, I like that map. I, I never intended to finish that. That map kind of stopped because. Um, remember why I had a break on it for a bit and I got to the point where it'd been so long for doing anything on it I found it hard to get back to to fit it in and unfortunately it just kind of got forgotten about and I'm yeah I'm really disappointed I never went back to that to finish it off because um, I really wanted to uh, finish that that was one map I to be honest I completely forgot about until he just said it but yeah that was um, yeah I never intended to finish that early 
Um, it's the same with Ravenport. Episode 50 on Ravenport on FS19. Um, oh, there's that field. I've just gone past the entrance. Yeah, episode 50 on Ravenport was supposed to be the final episode, and I never did it. I got to 49, and then... The reason why I didn't record the last episode at the time was because uh, I had such a big field to harvest. Um, I was trying to get course play to work with it and I just could not get course play to work properly at the time and I, I was waiting for course play to be updated to go back to it and I just never got back to it and I was going to go back before finishing up on 19 just to finish that series off and uh, yeah I never got around to it so and part of the fact that a lot of the buildings mods I'd used were outdated, no longer working um, or I didn't have them anymore so Steve 4k game, two things I can't wait for FS22, no man lands and FDR logging equipment, yep yeah, I'm with you on those two definitely I, say, I am looking, really looking forward to no man's land normally I don't tend to go back to maps I've played before um, I like to try out new stuff so Low Noak I think is the only map on 19 that I ever played previously um, Sandy Bay I'd never played before that was one of the reasons why I started that series because I'd never been on Sandy Bay before myself um, I know it's it's been out on I think it was at 15 and 17 it's slightly different Guises, but yeah, I'd never played Sandy Bay before, so I did that. Sandy Bay was one of those maps that I liked, but I kind of never loved. There was never got a good feeling for it, so I kind of lost interest with Sandy Bay. I don't know why, but yeah, sometimes you just get that on some maps, you just you don't, you don't have a good feeling for it that you want to spend the time playing on it. Matters saying hi. Derek saying hi to Matters. Uh, okay, apologies if I pronounce your name wrong. Ravenbolt, what is your control setup? I use an Xbox controller just on default. I don't change any of the controls. So I just plug my Xbox controller in all way I go. I do have a steering wheel, um, but currently I've not got it set up to use. So, so I have tried it, but I'm having a few issues with getting it to uh, work alongside the Xbox controller. Donuts, potato, I play every version of Bjorn Home. In there. Yeah, so apart from Low Noak, which I'll, I'll be honest, I was really disappointed with the conversion of Low Noak in 19. I thought it could have been a lot better. The um, I just didn't think Low Noak in 19 looked right. The textures just seemed a little bit off. I don't know if it's that's because it was so different from 17 that it just didn't have the same feel to it. Um, but also a lot of the things I didn't like about the 17 version of Low Noak were still in 19. But the uh, the poorly laid out cell points for some of the stuff. It was nice having that American map with some big fields. You could use some big American equipment, but then some of the cell points weren't very friendly for semis and really large trailers. Alex DC, I really like Durango on 19. The map is not nice, so it is hard on NDS. Yeah, I'd never played that map. So there was a lot of maps on 19 up. I intended to download and have a look around see what I like but just never got to yeah if you've not watched any of FDR logins videos he uses the twin thrustmaster controllers and um, joysticks and he's got them fully set up to operate as those things would in real life um, so you 
you are very limited on a controller because you can only operate like the boom or the jib you can't do both at the same time with the controller whereas obviously you've got twin joysticks you can move both at the same time so you can get a lot smoother movement I did try to set set them up um, but I just couldn't get used to them <laughs> which is strange because I used to operate a Lieber 934 in real life so I've got many hours experience using similar equipment um, obviously controlling it with the twin joysticks in the cab so I know how they feel to operate in real life and I'd love to get the joystick set up to do it properly but it was again spending that time to do it and getting used to them but it was um, also that thing that I had to keep switching between that and controller to drive around so that field is done it just needs plowing now Let's just check we haven't missed any bits. So, turn that off as well. Yep, so that's done. So we'll get another layer of fertilizer on that after we've got the next crop in. Or if we get a seed drill that does fertilizer. Let's just check. So we're coming up to 10 o'clock. So we've got about another hour left. So we're going to go to 11 again. So we've got 151 people watching. So thank you very much for all those that are still here. So I hope you're enjoying the stream. If you you if you are then please don't forget to hit that like button. Really do appreciate it. Smash the like button as some people say. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I crashed then because I was took by surprise by that super chat from Peter oh, thank you very much for that, that is, apart from the fact I forgot to fold the spreader up as well wow yeah thank you <laughs> that is amazing I really do appreciate that I say that will that will go to uh, towards the uh, streaming equipment I've purchased so we'll be put, put to good use so yeah really appreciate that. that is amazing thank you very much for that yeah thank you for for joining in um, I say the stream is nothing without the viewers interacting with the chat and stuff because otherwise I'd be sitting here with nothing to talk about so I can only thank you a lot as well for helping making the stream what it is giving me something to talk about um, I really do appreciate you, you wanting to sit there and spend the time watching me drive around in a virtual tractor or talk, talking rubbish most of the time but yeah, that is amazing, Peter. I really do appreciate that. Um, Jason, I just did, but I swore I did it when I started watching. Um, Donna, did, did you no, I don't stream on Twitch. I've, apart from the stream I did last week, I did a couple of streams years ago on my other channel. Um, which possibly is still floating around YouTube somewhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I streaming's something I've always wanted to do, just never got into, or never pushed myself enough to get started. Uh, but Twitch is not something I'm familiar with myself. I don't watch Twitch. I've only occasionally watched a few people on Twitch do streaming, so I don't really know much about it. Um, um, YouTube is the easier option just because I've already got that fan base there so you're not kind of like starting from scratch kind of thing so it's just easier to go with YouTube but yeah Twitch I don't know if I'd ever consider it I say I don't really know what the differences are over Twitch to YouTube and which is better how hard it is to get started going on Twitch or whether there's any benefits that over this I've, so I don't know I've never looked into it so how many people on here watch streamers on Twitch well how many of you watch streamers in general I don't tend to watch too many to be honest I don't think there's all that many people I subscribe to that actually stream on YouTube 
I think there was quite a few people I've, over various different channels that do content on different stuff. A lot of those I know have moved to Twitch and I haven't watched their stuff um, since. Um, but yeah, I don't think there are currently many channels that I subscribe to that actually do live streams. I think the only live streamers I've watched for farm sim content was um, watched a few virtual farmer streams back when 19 was first released uh, when he had early access I uh, just see what it was like um, uh, I think Landy Kid was another one I watched a few of his streams um, on like 19 Good night. Uh, thank you very much for joining in. Sim, I missed the No Man's Land series. Yes, it will be back soon. Series 2. Starting from scratch again when it's uh, released. It's been confirmed that No Man's Land is coming to FF22 for those that haven't seen. Alien Jim posted the other day the screenshot of the... Uh, the map on the menu screen when you do the map select of the uh, the main farm area that you start with so it is coming and I will be jumping on it as soon as it's released Alex DC I don't really watch streams because I want a game instead yeah I think for me a lot of the streams are on late like I'm streaming now late in the evening and Usually that's when I'm spending time with the wife <laughs> and doing other stuff. So I don't really have time to sit down and uh, watch streams in the evenings. I think Mr. Sealy P was streaming during the day the other day and I did catch a little bit of that. While I was recording I had that on for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think one of those things I usually try and finish work at like working on videos at four o'clock and then that's it I'll try and kind of stop for the rest of the day then so I don't really do much watching YouTube or stuff I do get a few hours in the evening I usually put the Xbox on and get a few hours on fours that Right, so next job is ploughing, which is very boring. Although the workers do cost a lot of money, it might be a job that I've put on a worker while we find something else to do. See if there's any contract work that needs doing. Um, we are good to go. Right. Um, Derek, did he say on this on six dash I learned from how to cut trees with chainsaw in the perfect way. Yes, six ashes. I on that one episode I did a little bit of logging. Um, I shared my little tip about using the GPS, um, well, manual GPS as I call it, using the coordinates and the degrees on the mini map, so you know which way your direction the tree is going to fall. So you can get all the trees to f fall in the same direction. Um, really handy tip <laughs> it's not something I I think it was only Crater Lake when I first started doing it actually if you notice in some of the Crater Lake videos because I was doing a lot of starting off with the chainsaw because I think Grizzly Mountain Wilhelmina Forest I started off with the, the tree harvester pretty much straight away um, so, yeah, I think uh, No Man's Land was the first series I started off with just the chainsaw, but I didn't do the cutting the logs in the same direction on that, so the logs were like kind of all over the place. So I think it was Crater Lake when I first started doing that, um, and Ravensburg as well, you'll notice that all the trees pretty much lying perfectly parallel to each other so yeah handy little tip 
Yeah, the poor man's GPS on the PDA. Yeah, I've, it's, to be honest, it works. And there's a lot of people that don't realize about it that you can do it and it does help. So we need a plow. I don't think I'm gonna buy one because at the moment I'm not planning on doing any crops that are gonna require plowing. So we'll just lease this one. Don't think we've gone ah, six meters. What's the John Deere's three, five, seven horsepower? I'm sure that's three, five, seven. I think we should just get away with 360 horsepower plow, shouldn't we? They are very flat fields. And it is an extra... What's that one? 4.9. It's the same speed. It's an extra 1.1. 1 .1. Right, we'll lease this one. Oh, I've got 4,000 to lease that. Yeah, I've, I completely forgot about it myself, to be honest, and I should have been using it more. There's a few fertilising jobs where I didn't use it. And I should have done, because <laughs> I found it difficult to keep it in a straight line, because the textures on the fields are, don't have uh, much in the way of lines on the field to follow, like they did in 19 on some of the textures. That is quite a long play. Definitely not a player for British maps, is it, that one? That'd be fun trying to get that through some of the gateways. Oh, can't even get it at the store. <laughs> okay, so... What am I stuck on? Oh, what am I stuck on? There's a little... Little bin. Who put that there, Giants? Come on. Ooh. Oh, where's that when you're in first person? You've always just that hope that whatever you're pulling is going to fit through. Uh, right. Alex DC also doesn't watch a lot of vids. Most vids I watch are daily mod releases, time lapse vids. Uh, I can't stay focused on normal gameplay. Yeah, like I mentioned last week, I don't tend to watch videos I tend to more listen to what the people are talking about so a lot of the YouTubes I watch are the ones that I find interesting in general when they're talking because I've said a lot of the time I'll have a YouTube video while I'm recording just in the background so I tend to listen to it more than actually watch it so it's not very often I get the time to actually sit down and properly watch a YouTube video I do try occasionally. Sometimes if I'm stuck in the car, <laughs> waiting for the wife. Uh. Yeah, Sim, Erlingrat is hard to get big equipment around the streets. Yeah, as I've just found out. This is a completely new player to the game, isn't it? Don't, this wasn't part of the DLC, the Caverlan DLC, was it? Right, oh, is it one of those that you can... Increase the width of it a little bit, or is that it? Oh, wrong button. Craden Gaming is currently processing a video. Nice. Scott, George, only live streams I watch are FSG, RHC, and me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and sometimes Clutch. I've never watched any of Clutch's content. Um, he wasn't somebody I was aware of. Uh, well, I've heard his name mentioned quite a few times, but I've never actually watched any of his stuff um, I've watched a few DJ Goham's videos but I haven't watched a huge amount of his I 
I say I don't tend to watch a lot of farm sim content myself, to be honest. I say once I've finished recording, I've had a, had enough of the game, so I don't watch a huge amount. Oh, just thinking. We'll do it the proper way. We'll do headlands last. Of course, I'll probably only do a few rows and then we'll put a worker on this. Because I know plowing is not the most interesting job. But it's a job that needs to be done. That's a really big player for such a small working width. Yeah, six metre working width and it does seem excessively long. I don't know if it was one because there was that one player who that allowed you to change the angle which then increased the distance but I don't think you can do it on this one at least I can't see right, it's the biggest play we can get in game at the moment I did notice I think it was the uh, the lizard, lizard subsoilers from black sheep mod and I think um, was in the testing list from the mods the other day. It looks like they've got a 9 metre version coming out, which will be quite handy. The subsoilers sub are nearly better than plows. Yeah, more compact and wider. I looked at the subsoilers, I was going to go with the Agrisim, but it requires, I think, 400 and something horsepower for the 8 metre. And then the other one's four meter, but I think they, let's go to the store. I'm sure when I looked at the subsoilers, there were slower work speed, no. Yeah, 12, a lot cheaper, and a lot easier to use as well. Plus the worker won't miss as much. For some reason I thought the work speed was a bit lower, unless I was looking at something else. Oh, I think it was, I was considering again trying this, the uh, spader, uh, just to see what it was like. Was it 4.5 meter? Uh, but the work speed is a lot lower. It's only eight, eight kilometers an hour rather than 12. So, do, do, do. I do the same way when playing FS, loads of uploaders that have two plus hour long discussions that I find interesting. Yeah, I I watch, most of the YouTube content I watch is stuff from different like kind of stuff. Oh, that player's horrible to reverse. Um, so not farm simulator, I watch, there's a, quite a few of my friends do, uh, people I know that do videos on scale models still. So sometimes I'll catch up on some of those. Yeah, but I only tend to really watch gaming channels if there's a game out that I'm interested in. So I do like Squirrels videos, but it doesn't do a lot on YouTube these days. Uh, tends to be mainly just his Twitch streams. Uh, but I try and catch his videos because I find his videos interesting. Uh, just talk about some uh, good stuff in his videos. Sam does stuff. How much longer is the stream going to be? Uh, I'm going to be streaming till 11 pm UK time, so another 45 minutes. So we've still got 154 viewers. So thanks for sticking around. Yeah, I can't do much later than that because uh, I've got three dogs that all need to go out to the toilet. <laughs> uh, plus, I've got an early start, so I've got a, a nice start. I need to help, the, help my mother and father-in-law move some furniture tomorrow morning. So I'll be up nice and early to help them do that. So I can get back for the rest of the day at home.
How can you choose to blend the control menus? Oh yeah, there's an auto setting as Stevie said and I think some of the others have said in, in one of the menus. I think it is the one with the cog. Yeah, do, do, do. which one is it? Where is it, where is it, where is it? I thought it was at the top. But, uh, Yeah, there's one on here that allows you to change the input mode. Yeah, that one there. So just above sound, input help mode. If you set that to auto, it'll switch between your keyboard and gamepad automatically. So if you're using your mouse, it will show up the keyboard controls. If you're using a steering wheel or controller, it'll switch to, to the controls for that. Watching Sim is better than watching Clarkson on his farm. <laughs> yeah, how many of people watch Clarkson's farm? I really enjoyed that actually. I tried to get my wife to watch it, but she wasn't having it. She doesn't like Jeremy Clarkson. But yeah, really, really pleased they're doing a season two because that was it's quite interesting. I'm watching a guy on YouTube, and when FS22 was released, he did 24-hour live stream. Wow, who was that? That's quite an epic stream. I'd have done 22 hours to be honest. FS22 and all that. <laughs> Maybe a 24 hour stream for FS24 if they go back to a two year cycle. Let's get this off. Um, let's just have a look, see what contracts are available. See if there's any fertilising. Oh, lots of fertilising contracts. Uh, bailing contract with the Krona Big M. Right, I think... We'll leave a worker to that. And we'll do a few contracts to earn a bit of extra money. Don't want to do bailing because we did plenty of that at the start. Oh, to be honest, we've just done some. Oh, could do a plowing contract. Yes, it's such fun. Oh, I don't think the plowing, plowing and cultivating contracts really don't seem worth it for how much you get paid. Uh, sewing contract, sewing canola, spraying. Um, right, let's knock off a few of these fertilizing contracts for a bit of extra moolah. Field nine, accept contract take the highest three contracts. They don't look like very big fields as they're not worth a huge amount. I do like the fact that the base game is where you can accept multiple contracts. Well, up to three anyway. Um, I do like the fact that they added that. Peter, Jerry and was certainly help Jay. Uh -huh. I don't know what that was. Eric, thank you very much. Me, such a helpful community. Yep, it's always nice. Say, so if I don't spot your question, I'm sure somebody else in the chat will pick up on it and uh, give you an answer. So I do try my best to keep up with everything, but yeah. it is hard at times. So Jason has probably left now. Have fun, Sim. Yeah, thank you. S Derek Smith Squirrel has a transport series too. Yes, I started watching that the other day because I really like Transport Fever. Um, I really do love that game. And so I started. I've, I started watching it when he first did it, but I hadn't watched it for a while. So I went back to start watching the first few episodes the other day. Um, yeah, it's a game I like and a, a content creator that I enjoy watching as well. So yeah, I'll be trying to I'll say watch listen through that over the next weeks coming so we did field five wasn't it okay. i really wish one thing i dislike about this is i really wish giants would have put the contract thing here next to the map it's not so bad on pc if you're using the mouse if you could just click between but if you're on console you've got to tab through to see what fields what 
Um, so we've got field 9, 12 and 16. Uh, if anybody from Giants is watching, don't they are, but put this up here. <laughs> Would be so helpful. So field 9 is there. Uh, 16 is over there. And field, what's the one? 12. Oh, so they're all pretty much next to each other. So that's pretty handy. So, which way do we need to go? Well, we're going to do field 12 first because it's just down there. I'm going to speed up the time, skip through the night a little bit. Uh, apologies if the graphics go a bit dodgy. I do get a little bit of ghosting on the graphics during the night. And as I don't have this sleep anywhere mod, I can't skip through that way. <laughs> so you have to bear with the uh, the darkness. Put some headlights on actually. Oh, that got dark fast. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have skipped time quite so early. Right, field 12 is here. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing much fertilising in the dark. Uh, we can start, we can start. Yeah, I'm hoping they fix the uh, graphics issues. Because I don't know why, the graphics seem perfect during the day, but at night time it, it really doesn't like the dark for some reason. Uh, I forgot this spreads a lot wider because we've got the spreading discs on. I'm sure hope they change the map so the entire thing isn't flooded with plowing. Yes, I hope that's um, something that's not intended as well, because it, it it hurts my eyes to look at. Yeah, I'm hoping it is um, an unintended thing that's slipped through the uh, testing and they change it so it just shows the fields that need plowing and not the whole map. Same with the lime as well. Um, do you have plans to start recording other games and uploading them? Um, I don't have plans at the moment. Possibly in the future I may... I did consider doing... Was it Lawn Mowers? Lawn Care Simulator or whatever it was called. So I thought that kind of fit into the channel a little bit. Um, that kind of content. I, I, I'm not going to start like playing Grand Theft Auto or... Uh, Call of Duty on here um, but yeah there's potential possibly for other games in the future maybe like streaming some different games or something for a change every now and then maybe just from like Euro Truck or American Truck Simulator something like that um, but yeah it'll be probably like kind of simulation based games so Euro Truck or those kind of things. It won't be first person shooters if I do any other games anyway. Uh, I just don't think I could make those games interesting enough to watch to be honest. Um, this is the part where I miss precision farm. Yes, I, I really don't understand why Giants just didn't add that to the minimap. Um, it's possible it can be done because it was in preci precision farming so why the hell they didn't add it to the base game because being able to have your mini map open and see exactly where you've been already especially when you're doing crops like this I really don't understand why oops alright that is me hitting the uh, <laughs> the A trigger on the underside of my control pad I've got the Razer Wolverine controller with the extra buttons underneath. I <laughs> just accidentally hit the A button. Disconnected the spreader while we mid spreading. Yeah, that would have been super handy. And to be honest, I, f I really thought that was something they would have added to the game because of just how cool of a feature it actually was. So we just need to go down the middle. So yeah, I expected that to be in the game. I'm disappointed that it's only going to probably be back in with precision farming. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I remember playing Lawnmower Simulator and thinking that would be perfect. Yeah, I, I've still never played it. Um, so I, I have no idea what it's like. I've never watched any videos on it or anything. But I did consider buying it. But the time it was released, I just didn't have the time to do additional videos. Andrea, Dan, thank you very much for the subscription. Really appreciate it. Viking C, hello, Sim Farmer. Love your farming videos. Keep up the word, brother. Thank you very much. Ouch, 9,700 lease cost. Is that how much I just got paid for the day? I have leased quite a bit of equipment. Um, if you weren't here at the start, I got the the wind rower, uh, the bale wrapper. What else did we lease? Uh, we leased the plow, which obviously now has just gone over the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, daily freight. So completed that, I'll collect that one. Does it actually show? It's one thing. When you lease something. Does it not show you the daily rate, an hourly rate anymore? Is there actually a daily rate, an hourly rate anymore for leased equipment? Like if you put an error on the, I'm sure there is, because I'm sure my money on Elm Creek went down quite a bit after an hour use on the combine. But why does it, am I missing something? Is there something I'm missing, does somebody tell me? Or does it not tell you? The daily charge and hourly charge. That's something I never look, looked at before. Um, Jacob, hi. Oh, I've done that again. Which button is that? That's because I keep putting the controller down on my leg. Oh, keep hitting the A button. Um, didn't lawn seem roll out string trimmers recently? I have no idea. I've not been keeping up to date with the game. So I don't know what it's like, um, what's actually in it. Um, hi Sim, I just finished cultivating my largest field ready for the field of sugar beet on your map. Build great farm on it by the way. Well functional. Thank you very much. Right, slow the time down. Um, yeah, I, when I do the farm builds I always try and kind of think about laying out the farm as if I was playing it. So try and make it fairly accessible to everything um, so I try and do it that way so when you do or somebody does play on it it's you know it's it kind of works oh. now this is not a good field for spreading solid fertilizer on oh well. it said it said it wanted fertilizer so we're giving it fertilizer um, Peter, all my super chat expired, so I'll make a deal. For the last half hour, I'll match anyone's super chat until I spend another $50 total. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't expect any super chats. I, mean, I really appreciate those that feel generous enough to donate um, their hard-earned money to, to support me. Uh, but yeah, please, nobody feel the need to. Well, yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> That's very generous, Peter. ADD1C73D. <laughs> That's some name. Hi, um, I was just wondering where you are from. I am from Worcestershire in the United Kingdom. Or as some parts of the world call it, Worcestershire or something like that. Worcestershire. I'm, I'm from the place where Worcestershire sauce comes from. Jacob, yeah, the usability is literally so good. Yeah, I always try and do that. Because um, I think it was the point in... If you're building a farm from scratch, why not lay it out so it's kind of functional? It's one of the things with a lot of British maps is a lot of people don't like is because they're very old farms. And, you know, rebuilding a farm is expensive. 
so they make do with old buildings that are probably like 70, 80, sometimes 100 years old. <laughs> and equipment wasn't as big back then, so they are tight, they make the most of the space. And I'm sure every farmer in the UK, if they had the money to rebuild their farm from scratch, they'd lay it out a lot more functional than it is. But it's that kind of thing with farming, spending money on a new shed is not top priority. It's, you know, there's probably far better things you could spend your money on than new buildings. So a lot of the farms in Britain are very old, run-down farms. Uh, they're very compact, very tight. It's just generally because they are very old and farmers make do with the buildings. So they may seem very strange layout-wise. We'll say it's just because of how they've built up over the years rather than been designed that way specifically. So if you're starting out a new farm from scratch, yes, why make it awkward for yourself? Derek Smith, West Midlands, UK. Us Brits can't, can recognise the accent. Yeah, I'm from the West Midlands. Well, uh, Worcestershire is not West Midlands, but originally I am from the West Midlands myself. Uh, so I've only lived in Worcestershire for the last four years. Hi from Norway, hello. I'll say, I, I'm just going to call you AD because I can't, <laughs> can't keep going through that name. Daskal, I say yo, talk back. Oh, sorry, I missed your yo. Apologies. Clank, oi. Oh, is that your hello? Do, do, do. Yeah, say apologies if I do miss your comment. It's not me ignoring you, it's just I haven't spotted it yet. Yeah, leasing costs are still there daily in working hours, but I guess I've got to implement it in the shop overview. Yeah, that's quite strange. I, to be honest, I'd never even give that a consideration before. I've leased quite a lot of equipment and I've never even um, looked. Um, Scott says he can't find leasing info either. Yeah, it shows no lease cost in 22. Yeah, hopefully they'll put that in if that's a... Uh, if there is actually a... Uh, leasing cost is the same, so you get an hourly fee for operating hour and then a daily fee. It's 97%. It seems strange they wouldn't show that because why would you have hidden costs? Because <laughs> I've got no idea now how much that leased equipment cost me overnight. So that one is now completed. So it's another 5,030. Collect that one and field 16, which is that one just there. Oh. Corn, corn crop seems a lot higher, a lot taller than it used to be. Let's change the textures on that. It does, a, it does look a lot more like the corn that we get in the UK than it did on the previous games. Um, hello, uh, apologies, I can't pronounce your name. Svetlana. Svetlana. Uh, say. Sorry if I've butchered that. <laughs> Lethal farming, good day, Sim, it's cool. You miss me, hope you are well. Uh, good to see you, thank you for stopping by. Girly, £108.99, super chat, thank you very much for that, I really appreciate it. Thanks for the HB farm build, playing on it now, whilst catching the stream, that's awesome. Thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, glad people uh, have been able to download it and on it. I wasn't sure how to do the equipment and I think I, when I did the updated save game file with um, the uh, add-on farm 
I forgot to change the money, so I think it's still got like three million or some stupid, it may be more than that. In your finances screen, it should tell you how much your leasing cost was overnight. Is, does that, is that just for the overnight or is that for everything? Like for the initial lease fee as well? Or is that just the overnight? I don't know if that's the combined total, including operating hours. Yeah, thank you, girly 100 for that. I uh, really appreciate it. That will be going towards my uh, probably new gaming chair. My current gaming chair is on its last legs. It's like five years old. It's starting to creak and squeak and make some strange noises. It's definitely on my list is a new chair. Hi everyone, I'm new to the channel. Um, Salah, how Habsi? I appreciate you stopping by to watch. And there's Peter matching the uh, matching the super chat like he said he would. Uh, that's awesome, Peter. Thank you very much for that. He was too generous. <laughs> Yeah, I say any money that get, gets donated will go back into uh, go back into the channel in some way. I say whether it's say last week went towards the uh, the new green screen and uh, t two key lights, which I managed to get in the Black Friday sale on Amazon. Forget the chair, go on a diet. I still need something to sit on. Well, my chair is... I say I bought this chair five years ago. And considering I've got like... I had 5,700 hours on FS19. That's just playing the game, not including editing and all the other stuff and other games I've played. It's got a hell of a lot of use. But unfortunately, it's time for it to... Um, Hans Bear, I don't know how you pronounce that, sorry. Hans Bear 100, uh, 20 euro super chat. Actually, I don't have much, but you help me and many others get to get through to the strangest years imaginable. Seriously, your content is amazing. Please go on giving us those great videos. Stay safe. And you, and thank you very much for your generosity. I really do appreciate it. And as I mentioned before, please, people, don't feel like you need to. Um, please only do if you can afford it. I say it is greatly appreciated. And you are all awesome for those that do. Yeah, I don't know, I'm a bit harsh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that I'm not that fat. Maybe maybe losing a little bit of weight might make it last a little bit longer. But yeah, I think it's uh it's seen its fair use over the uh, the last five years. And it's it's one of those things. Sitting on your chair all day, you need to invest in a decent one. Uh, this one, this one, I'll still get used. It'll probably get uh, used in the uh, my my log cabin out in the garden, which is now my modeling work work area so I'll probably stick it in there until it completely dies ADD my game tag is spelled addict ah yeah that makes sense now <laughs> I, I'm too old for this uh, le letters letters in uh, game tags yeah, now, now you say it obviously makes clear sense that, that what it, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not down with the kids, as I say. Ah, oh, Peter. <laughs> Peter, you're crazy. <laughs> not sure on the conversions, but hopefully it's still close. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You didn't you did, you did need to match that one as well. Lethal Farming, you may have said it before, but what controls do you use? I use a Xbox controller. 
how do I download your farm? Unfortunately, there's no way for me to put the save game up on console. Even if I did the farm on Xbox, I don't think there's any way to transfer the save games. Um, unfortunately, so I don't think it's possible. Um, I will probably put that map on crossplay on a server over crossplay because there's nothing on there that's not crossplay compatible. So I probably will do a live, um, not a live stream, but a multiplayer session on that map at some point. So have it on crossplay so people on console can come and have a look around it. Um, don't know what do you model my brother-in-law yeah well, I mainly do World War 2 tanks um, some sci-fi stuff Haynes is that Hans or Haynes Hans and there's so I'm no good if I was it's German ah I know how hard it is for you speak speakers of English to pronounce that yeah um, t I'm, t I'm typical Brit no idea how to pronounce foreign names and stuff well I do try do try uh, big rich Peter owns sim farm now <laughs> yeah <laughs> Peter Peter's my sugar daddy <laughs> I sound so wrong um, don't don't worry about it Derek uh, Peter I'd bump you up to 50 140 pandemic took my job oh, that's a shame to hear that Peter um, Derek I mean yeah, I'll say I don't expect anybody to uh, leave a super chat. It's there for those that want to help support the channel, but please don't feel like you need to. And say it really only do if you can afford it. I say I know how hard times are for people over the last couple of years. Um, so our worker's doing reasonably well with the plow. Hey, actually, he's doing, doing a better job this end than I did. He must be going right out into the road to be getting right up to the edge of the field. So yeah, he's cracking on with that. Actually getting through that quite quick as well. Um, right. Did I accept that contract? Where are we? Yeah, complete. Collect. So we've got about 15 minutes or so left. We've still got 123 people watching, so thank you very much for all those that are still here. Do you display your models? Um, I've got a few. If you go back through my channel and find the setup tool video, I do show some of my models I've got on display. I've got just to my left hand side behind me, I've got like a display cabinet thing uh, with some of my stuff in. I did. I did have a um, a Facebook page that I used to put all the pictures up on there, but I deleted that because I wasn't keeping it up to date. But I do have a, a 124th scale Heller uh, Massive Ferguson model kit that I was considering building as like a video series on the channel. I'm not sure how many people would be interested in it, but. Um, yeah I do have that and I, I have also ordered the the Revel Porsche Junior kit that comes with the D download code for that tractor I know you can get it on some dodgy sites it's been put on there but yeah I'm getting the model kit and I get a download code for a tractor in games awesome two things I enjoy um, us Brits are lazy with languages yeah definitely <laughs> we just talk louder and expect to be understood. That's that's too true. Yeah, well, I am a typical Brit when it comes to um, foreign stuff. It is uh, that kind of thing. We just we just kind of yeah <laughs> just say it how we think it should be, and then don't worry about it. Sim, I would donate again. Only no, don't worry about it. Honestly, please don't feel like you need to. Mash the like button, yeah, mash the like button. Um, Derek, never a true word said, yeah, plenty of English mates and you would describe them perfectly. Yeah, we are, and I know it, with some pronunciations of like manufacturers and companies, we always get it wrong, like Porsche. Um, typical Brits, just, it's Porsche. <laughs> it's, 
it's Porsche. We don't pronounce the uh, bit at the end. Same with Crone. It's just Crone and not Krona. Um, Cavaco, uh, which is a new brand in 22, uh, isn't it? Uh, they always pronounce the W as a W rather than the V. Um, yeah, Volkswagen is wagon, not wagon. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of them. It's like British. That's how we say it. That's that's how it is. It's like we're not going to change it for anybody. All right. So I say we are. I say next job will be to start planting these fields with crops, which we ain't really going to have time for. So that'll be next time. As we own the grain mill, I think we'll do. I don't know whether to do one field of wheat or one field of barley and then leave the other field to do a different crop next year. Um, so in March, probably. Hmm. I, I, yeah, decisions. We can decide that next time. We'll go back. I'm going to leave that worker working. What I'm going to do is probably be in between streams. I'll probably finish plowing these two fields just to help speed things up a little bit. So what I'm going to do, thank you worker, you did an amazing job, but I am going to stop you there. How much did we pay on the worker? Worker fees. Um, wage payment. Uh, 1,025, that doesn't seem too bad, or does it? <laughs> How long was that worker going for? I can't remember. Yeah, I'll get those two fields finished plowing. I'll do it myself. Do it myself to save a little bit of money. Um, big Rich, I am from Kentucky. We speak perfect Springlish. <laughs> Derek Smith, I've watched a few model build videos from creators, especially the ones with dioramas. Yeah, that's what I was thinking with the Massive Ferguson, was building the tractor and then building up like a small display base. So um, have it like in front of an old barn or something to, so it's on a little base. So it's not just the tractor on its own. Um, Yeah, so it's something I probably may do it anyway, whether people watch it or not. They, they either watch it or they don't. Um, but yeah, I've had that quite a while sitting there. So yeah, something I'll probably look at doing. The unfortunate thing is there's not many tractor kits available, like building wise. There's a lot of die cast and RC models. Um, I am going. If anybody's wonders where I'm randomly walking to. When I was on here earlier taking the screenshot, I came over to look at that field to see what it was and I found a block of cheese. Top up the coffers. Ten grand for some cheese. Yeah, I accidentally fell. I wasn't even looking for it. I was running over there. I was, oh, cheese. More cheese grommet. I watch JT react, he's from Kentucky, funny lad and loves the Brits. Um, that I would watch Mr. Simpson. Yeah, I'll, I'll say I'll, when I get time to do it, it may be one of those I'll edit it, um, film it all, complete it and then edit it down to uh, two or three parts or something, but I probably won't put the videos up until it's completely done, just in case I have that thing where I put one part up and then it takes about three months to get the next one done. Big tractor power hangs around here filming a lot. Yeah, I watch quite a few big tractor powers videos um, and then try and replicate it in game. <laughs> Cause it's always interesting, because obviously being from the UK, I don't know a lot about uh, farming in the US. So it was always nice to try and replicate some of the things I see within his videos. Cause it's like, well, they're doing it in that video, so I can't be far wrong if I do it that way on a US map or use similar equipment. Um, I'll still get comments saying, oh, you're doing it wrong. They don't do it that way. I'm like, well, I 
think if you watch this video, they do. Yeah, I'm subscribed to be big tractor power. Um, what is the evil one? There's another channel that does like big farm equipment videos. Uh, yeah, the Fallout Boy bobblehead, which actually I don't know where he's gone. I, mo I moved him the other day because I was cleaning my desk off. <laughs> I haven't put him back. Yeah, I do love Fallout. It's one of my uh, favourite games, along with Skyrim. Well, Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls in general. Yeah, well, I will be doing an updated studio tour, um, probably a around about Christmas. Can you sew face? I, I don't think that, don't think that'd be very pleasant to sew my face. Rasmus Christiansen, thank you very much for the super chat. Um, I'm not sure what that works out to in the UK, but yeah. However much it is, I really appreciate it. You are amazing yourself for doing that. I really do appreciate it. Um, can I show? I will be doing a face reveal sort of thing when I get my silver YouTube play button plaque, which should be hopefully before Christmas. And then after that, I will hopefully have the webcam set up for the live streams. Just got I think live streams are a little bit better when you can see the person that's talking. Well, yeah, maybe not everyone thinks that. Earth Hunter member for 29 months. How are you doing? I don't know, eggs that pop up that you've just rejoined again. <laughs> I don't know how that f f uh, membership thing works with the popping up, but yeah, appreciate you being a member for so long. 29 months, man, that's, that's amazing. I didn't even realize I had memberships for that long. But yeah, one of my gold level memberships. Um, Derek, I built a helikit many years ago and I do many. <laughs> Bentley blow if memory serves. I imagine this um, Massey Ferguson kit is a very old kit just in a nice new shiny box. <laughs> I don't think it, Heller's not the uh, not the greatest in model kit manufacturers. So how well it will go together, I don't know. Peter. No, Peter. You are crazy. Thank you very much, Peter. I mean, that, 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 yeah, that's just, that's just made my day. Um, wow. You have been extremely generous, sir, and I appreciate it. I like how you can lose traction in FS22. Yeah, the wheel spinning on it is a, a nice feature. Not sure how, how much it's, uh, Obviously, it's something um, that's affecting the semi trucks a little bit too much. And also, some of the semi trucks, one of the wheels seems to go backwards to the other. Jerry Can the Fur, do you have time to play other games? You mentioned other games like running your channel. Um, personally, I, I play a few other games on my Xbox. So, recently, like Forza 5. Uh, what was the other, there was, oh yeah, I played quite a bit of Far Cry 6 when that came out. Uh, sometimes, it depends how the day goes, sometimes during the day I'll edit a video and then I'll put it on to render and then I'll have a couple of hours on the Xbox while I'm waiting for it to render. Before I can get on with the next video. Uh, so I try and get on but I don't get as much time as I would like at times. Is 6M good for Let's Play World? 6M. 6 meter. I'd sit here. 6 meter what? Is that? Or 6 million? Um, yeah, not sure what you mean by 6M. I will have. Um, and serious question for everyone that knows US Farm what is a trailer for a tractor that is used to cart grains? Never found anything non-European. Yeah, I think the most of them use what the uh, chaser bins or the auger wagons with a uh, then unload into a semi, don't they, in the US or gravity wagons? I don't think they tend to use typical grain trailers like they have in Europe, like this, um, the Brantner. I say most of the videos I've seen they're all like gravity wagons or. Um, yeah, or go wagon and then straight into a semi-trailer. Six million. Uh, is that, that's 
a very good amount to start with a Let's Play world. That farm I built the other day with all the equipment and I bought some fairly big equipment and came to what 3.9 million so 6 million you, you could buy a hell of a lot with 6 million. Yeah single axle um, or go wagon. Do, do, do. All right. So we are going to start to wrap things up. So thank you again for everyone watching. Uh, a really big thank you to Peter. <laughs> I think you get a um, special, special comment. <laughs> you have been absolutely awesome tonight and so generous. Um, yeah, it's totally unexpected. Uh, still 116 people watching. So thank you to all those who are still here. Um, so yeah, next time we'll crack on with getting the our first crop sown. So I'll definitely finish those fields off plowing because that's a slow, tedious job. And then we can look at some other jobs. I'll probably see if there's any decent areas of forest to buy. Thinking for winter. I know there's quite a... Um, a lot of these areas have got some trees on. I don't think there's many on that one. Anybody know if there's any decent areas that are affordable on this map that have got trees on to do a bit of forestry over winter? So the trouble is some of these areas are so expensive. And I've still got equipment to buy. We need to get seed drill. Uh, and then we need to try and get some money to get a combine. I've spent so much money. I don't know how I've spent one and a half million to be honest. Did we actually start with one and a half million? It can't be right, can it? Does anybody remember how much we started with? <laughs> I don't know what I've spent my money on. I only bought two fields, that's only 200, 285, so what's that? Just under 500,000 for those two. I've only got 176 left, so where did all my money go? This is the trouble, a week's gone by since the last stream, I can't remember anything. Um, lower part of the map has some trees, but not affordable. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. A lot of the, well, pretty much all the base game maps, the forestry areas are just stupid money. It's like... They add forestry as a feature, but then don't really add any suitable areas to do any forestry. Um, Aiden, thanks for the live stream. No problem. Thank you very much for taking part. Rasmus, I heard the last time you liked Lego. Now oh, I live 30 minutes from Legoland. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I love Lego. I have, I do have the Lego class action tractor. I'm still boxed up. And that's another thing I thought about doing a time lapse building that, and I've never got around to doing it. Um, the AI worker. Um, Scott saying good night. He enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Teenage farmers. Hey, good videos. Great job. Thank you. Um, Donna Potato. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for the stream. No worries. And thank you for watching. Steve saying thanks for the sim for the stream. Uh, catch you next one. Yes. I uh, will uh, try and sort out the multiplayer for the next one, so I can get somebody on to give me a hand. Um, yeah, he took the money and ran. Lease costs add up too. I don't think they add up to nearly a million, do they? Let's go finances. So we spent half a million on new vehicles. Damn, I didn't realise we spent that much. <laughs> Land purchase was 494,000. Yeah, so on the first day we spent 1.1 million. I didn't realise we'd spent so much on... Construction cost was buying the grain mill. Uh, vehicle running costs, 11. Vehicle leasing was 3,000 on the first day. Wage payment, 491. Wow, I didn't realise we'd spent so much money on the equipment. <laughs> Soon adds up, doesn't it? Um, Olav, do you get sometimes get tired of SS22? Not at the moment, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I did start to lose interest in 19 and sh started to struggle to uh, keep motivated to play. 
Yeah, the lease costs are adding up, yeah. I think it's one of those things with farm sim you say it's amazing how quick you can burn through money. We might need to spam a few greenhouses and uh, a few chicken pens on here to st start getting some income. Send me a message on Instagram or Messenger. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll probably message you through Facebook because I think you, I've got you in the message chat on the Sim Farmer Facebook page, so probably do it through that. Uh, Peter, thank you for everything Sim Farmer, and thank you to all the viewers and commentators today. This is by far my favourite channel and favourite community. Yes, thank you, Peter. That is awesome. Uh, Big Rich, wow. <laughs> Bye, James. Good night, everyone. So we'll leave it here. Thank you again for everyone for taking the time to join in for the chat and watch the stream. I hope you've all enjoyed it and I'll be back next Saturday at the same time, half seven UK time. And I'm aiming to do every Saturday up until just before Christmas and then I think it's Christmas day on a Saturday or Christmas Eve is, whichever way it works, there won't be a stream. I'll probably do the Friday before Christmas and then over Christmas, I may do a stream earlier in the day just for those people that can't watch the evening streams or morning streams if they're the other side of the world or afternoon if you're in the US. So, yeah, really appreciate you all for stopping by and we'll see you in the next one. Good evening, good night, goodbye.